All right, so with that said, guys, let's get this started. Load game, and what is the newest one? Hmm? I think it's this one right here. Yes, this is the latest. So if I remember right, we just left off in our room. We had just gotten back from, you know, one of our play dates with one of the other characters, and there was a note slipped under our door. But we haven't looked at the note yet. I kind of left off on that cliffhanger. Yeah, see, it's right here. We have no idea what this is. <laughs> that was a good game, Phantasma. I was really impressed with that finish. Okay, this piece of paper. It looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. That could be a trap. That could totally be a trap. The handwriting is really good. Who has good handwriting? I have no idea. Maybe... We have a writer in the group. Uh, it could be her. But to want to meet up so suddenly... Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Yeah, that could totally be a trap. I don't know. Oh, it's nighttime too. We're not supposed to leave our room at night. I don't know if it's already past that time when the bell goes off and everyone's supposed to, you know, not go to the dining hall. I'm not sure. And she leaves. So it's not just slacking off, uh, not necessarily slacking off, but most of them are new and not properly trained. Oh, see, that kind of sucks. Although I can understand them wanting to shift people around if they're the only people working there and they're not trained well enough to knock it out. Um, so you do like a lot of the people in the grocery and it's not their fault that they're bad. <laughs> it just sounds like they need training. Yeah. I mean, honestly, they should probably just move people around so you have more skilled people there in the meantime while they catch up, right? Okay, well, I don't think we have an option. I think we have to go to that dining hall. Uh, leave the area? Yep. So it must not be locked out yet because somebody wants to meet us here. This this place usually closes off at like 10 p.m., I believe. <laughs> Let's see. You had the you had I had you at slacking off us, Spider. Yo. Isn't it wonderful slacking off? I'm I'm a pro at procrastination. Okay. Oh, is this the guy that uh, messaged us? A uh, hero? Oh, Makato. Hero. Then the letter I found in my room? You know? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Hmm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. This guy's all like spirit, supernatural stuff. Who taught you that? And why did you want to meet with me? Hmm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Oh, Kyoko was the mastermind of this, huh? Oh, they're, they're just not properly trained because the grocery manager isn't great. So there's the problem, Sheely. The manager <laughs> needs to be trained or replaced or something. And Hasifa, you're playing some Blood Bowl during lunch while having you in the background. <laughs> How does a stream with Blood Bowl in the background work? I bet with this game, it's probably pretty cool because you got that nice jazzy music, you know? And Zakobo, what's up, dude? Welcome. And you do like the detail that uh, Yasuhiro just had amazing handwriting, despite everything else about him. Just random little, like, character building moments, right? And what is it like being a pro at procrastination? It's easy to put things off when you'd rather goof off and play video games. So Kyoko is the one that asked you to write that. Actually, I'm just an errand boy on this. Hmm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? You coming on to me you know okay let's do it hey i didn't say anything you said it no no i i was totally lost hero grabbed me by the shoulder pulled me close and whispered into my ear oh it's getting serious for serious it's all an act so the mastermind won't notice everyone's waiting in the bathhouse oh oh i see because the cameras are watching us we're all going to meet in the bathhouse because there's no cameras in there where the evil bear cannot see us. I like that. And manager need training? Sounds about right. <laughs> you know, it's kind of dangerous at your work becoming a manager, at least in my experience, because managers, they're not particularly skilled in like, you know, a certain like ability that like a company necessarily needs. You know, it's kind of more a general kind of like able to handle people and that kind of thing. And they can kind of be replaced. Like a lot of times when I see companies start to cut heads off, oftentimes they'll start with managers. Not not necessarily the upper, upper management, but you know, the lower level management. So it seems like they're like a dime a dozen. So be careful. 
when taking a management position, see how, you know, how other managers have fared in those positions. And we but tell him, how are you doing, dude? Welcome. And Alex, how's it going, Alex? So it's all an act, huh? What? Then did Alter Ego finish his search? Yeah, that was the computer that was trying to hack the files. You got it, uh, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. Uh oh, don't make it sound fake. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Yeah, I bet, Sheely. I mean, yeah, I, I've kind of had a really good luck with managers, luckily. At all my jobs, I've enjoyed my managers, but that is definitely not the norm. I think I've just been very fortunate. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. F you! <laughs> Here's the angry Taka. Hey you! How long were you going to keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shut up! What? What did you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka. He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. This is the first time he's seen Taka since he changed, huh? Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally started to grow a personality. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Alex, you're at work right now? You're 25% here and 75% lurking. I appreciate the lurk, dude. Hopefully work is going easy for you. And Spider, your old company still calls you about how to do things. You know, Spider, as soon as you left, your old company was going to be hosed. Like, not that you're putting them in a bad place. They earned the bad place by forcing you out of there. But you did so much for them, and they just didn't have a backup. And you warned them. You said they need to train people. They didn't. So that's what they get. And you told them they can hire you as a consultant. Uh-huh. That's a good call. Absolutely. A lot of people retire and then come back as a consultant, making, you know, two, three, four times the amount they used to. It's awesome. And Phantasma, you tried so hard, you saved Uncle Marcus, but haven't solved the case and you've been through it four times. Uncle Marcus. Oh, is this that FMV game you're playing, Phantasma? And Weebatome, you're sure Monokuma is not suspicious at all of everyone gathering in this place every single day? <laughs> yeah, that's going to look very suspicious. Okay, here's Taka. Uh, hey! You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? What the heck? How rude. A mega like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven-sent master, man. She has got it bad for uh, Bukai, uh, Bu Bayuka? It's been a while since I said his name. Oh. Hmm. Are you back to your old gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, come on. Well, anyway... Everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. <laughs> She's hey. down bad. You wanted us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So, what are we doing here? How about that? Isn't it obvious? We have something to do with Alter Ego, right? That's right! Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Let's see, oh, you have it recorded? Maybe one day you post it to YouTube so you can see me fail. Nice, Phantasma. So would you say that would be worth uh, playing through? I haven't bought it yet. I actually haven't even looked much up, but it seemed like the biggest FMV game to come out in a little while. And it is meant for multiple playthroughs. Oh, that's cool. So I'm guessing it's probably pretty short, right? Okay, so let's check out that laptop. I should probably ask Kyoko what's going on before anything else. Okay. She is the one that called. She's kind of like in charge of the laptop. It's gone. Wait, what? Someone took the laptop? Gone? I came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. It's got to be Taka or um, the giant kind of nerdy guy. I can't think of his name. They were kind of the most obsessed with the laptop. What? No way! You're kidding, right? Oh, um... Uh, what? She's gone! F you! Did he look a little guilty there? <laughs> you can't be fudging serious. What'd you do to him? Hmm. Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Totally possible. Wrong. I told... 
Or I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Well... Maybe we just missed it? However... I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... <laughs> the solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could have only been him. See, he's going to try to blame Taka. And you think so, Phantasma? Uh, you just haven't gotten the rhythm? It's been about five hours playing it, and you've been through a few times. Oh, that's real short. Nice. And a couple of our actually decent good managers changed stores, and we got the bad ones in return. <laughs> I wonder if they had to take the good manager, Sheely, and put them in a store that was struggling, and you got the leftovers. Without a doubt. Mr. Ishimaru, you stall her, didn't you? What? What? I am the ultimate moral compass. Maybe not anymore. I would never do something like that. Oh, absolutely, Phantasma. You should definitely share that. Hmm. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. F you! You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. Whoa. <laughs> Just when you know, this isn't my true form. I still have three more transformations left. What the hell does that mean? Damnation! Er, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. <laughs> Wrong, it's you. We're serious. Well, I'm sure it was one of you. So whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. Why don't we just check the rooms? Wrong. No. There's no way either one of them did it. Oh, really? Well, I actually believe Kyoko. She's, like, super smart. Huh? Huh? Why not? Oh, it's a DBZ reference? Nice. I've never watched DBZ. I've seen some parodies on, like, YouTube where they're just, like, powering up for, like, an entire episode and, like, nothing actually happens, but I haven't really watched DBZ. And DJ, what's up? You stole the computer. You needed to Google how to do Hitman things. Are you playing Hitman? Or for more illegal activities. <laughs> How's it going, DJ? Welcome back, dude. So... I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came to the dressing room. Oh, Hitman 3. Nice, nice. I haven't played a Hitman game in a long time. I played the old ones on PC. Which is funny, I think they already had like a Hitman 2 and 3 way back when. At least a Hitman 2. But then they kind of like rebooted the whole series. I think there's two Hitman 2s, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, if Alter Ego didn't yell, it couldn't have been either one of them. What? Whew. It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. Smart. Smart, Kyoko. <sighs> but I never heard any yell. Indeed. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. But... Then, who was it? Oh my goodness, you're supposed to be lurking. <laughs> What's going on? Alex Friesman! 21 months, dude. Holy crap. Let me drop some tokens in there for you guys. There's a slight delay on those tokens. There we go. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. 21 months already. Wow, if that was years... Your subscription will be able to drink. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Alex. Ooh, nice. Catches Alex and coffee. And you've been trying to map out Dartmoor, but every time you try, every guard in the city takes a keen interest in your activities. Oh no, I haven't played one of those in so long. I'm guessing that's one of the tougher levels. And uh, in DBZ, they would power up for, ep for four episodes. That's ridiculous, coffee. That's ridiculous. Um, and John stole the computer sometime in between the two streams. It makes sense, Weep, because it was there last time, and now it's gone. Then, who was it? So that's it. The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind, and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply, it was someone else. Hmm. Interesting. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, uh, Hina, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. That's terrible! Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? <laughs> How about for this reason? <laughs> there is a traitor among us. <gasps> Who's sus? <laughs> among us, huh? Oh, nice. I, enough repetition, DJ. You'll get it down, right? And Alex, you actually paid when you just arrived, but the payment was long. Oh, no, Alex. You know what it might be, too? I've seen times when I sub to somebody, sometimes I have to, like, refresh the browser, and then it'll actually work. 
<laughs> I agree. We vote Byakuya. Huh? Hmm. One of us is working for the mastermind, a spy. Hmm. Yeah, actually, we I think we had information about that earlier, but we had never identified who the spy was, huh? And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It, it can't be. Hmm. I've actually been thinking about some time now that there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help things move smoothly. You know, I think it might be Celeste, if I had to guess. Just because she's so down with just like staying here, chilling. She doesn't want to get out at all. It's really weird. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Alex. You have a good one. Hopefully it works easy. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. What? Why do you not speak? Are you stuck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? Say what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care who. Someone, anyone, save her. Oh, he wants her back so bad. <laughs> it would be fun to be sassy to him, wouldn't it? Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Oh, I feel bad for him. Damn it. Same here. How many times do they have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg. I'll scrape my head across the ground. Just please give him back. So, um... This is pretty messed up, but still, I think I kind of get how they feel. At the very least. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe. For the moment, at least. Maybe the laptop hasn't been destroyed. <laughs> Oh yeah, 100% they would. <laughs> and uh, knowing what happens makes you appreciate the subtle hints that the first game gives. Oh yeah, because there's connections between this one and the sequels, right, Chili? Um, and if you're sharp enough, uh, you can pick up most of the game's murderers before the trial. It's not quite like that in the second game. Oh, interesting. I mean, that's my first guess is Celeste, just because of how she's been acting this whole time. Yes, indeed. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. I see. So, you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? Damn it! That doesn't matter. Nothing. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Isn't, that a, Isn't that a Metallica song? <laughs> no matter what it takes, I'm going to get him back. That's my promise as a man. I swear, I will save her! <laughs> Using the power of love. Oh, crap. Time to go to bed. What perfect timing. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. We don't have to go back to our rooms, but that's been kind of like our internal rule. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Even though it's the same thing every time, I love it. Um, and Hasifa, you just had some non-slip grips for your Quest 2 controllers delivered. No more slipping with Beat Saber. Nice, Hasifa. Now, I, I have the, um, whatchamacallit, the index, which kind of wraps around your hand. But do those not have some kind of uh, wrist strap? Although, I guess that wouldn't really help with slipping. It could still slip. It just wouldn't fly off, right? And DJ, you haven't played the second game, but you assume it's because they just uh, throw you at the wall repeatedly. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that. <laughs> and like with the last one, Mondo started calling Chihiro dude after the murder. That's true, which you actually did pick up on, but wasn't quite sure what it meant until here. I did not notice that at all, but that's a very clever little hint. I like that. Hmm. <clears throat> it's nighttime. There is nothing to be done. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. <laughs> How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around. <sighs> what good are you if you're too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. It's like 10 p.m. What time do you guys go to bed? <laughs> Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Calm down. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makato? So I'm guessing, like, maybe we won't even get a murder in this chapter. The murder, the laptop. 
I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. Let's see, so they have a film, a flimsy wrist holder, but nothing like that covers the hand like the index. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, from what I've seen, it seemed like it's not quite like a Wiimote, but, you know, I have the older, um, what do you call them, the Rift, the Rift 1, um, the original Rift, and, yeah, similar style controllers, I guess. And Zakobo, you have a question. Once the game is over, will you see all the free time events? And you're asking since there's a bonus mode specifically for this purpose. I don't know what that even is, Zakobo. So you can see all the free time events. Oh, does that mean it's like, um, almost like if you want to see what all the interactions would have been every single day with every character, you can kind of get more backstory, something like that. And Sheila, you think the writing in this game is better than the second, but you personally still like the second a bit more. Hey, that's cool. All the hangout times. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think we would, just for a time's sake. I think this game's going to go longer than I usually like to finish a, a game. And I imagine we're going to do a vote at the end if you guys want me to finish it to completion. I usually try to play games I can knock out in like five or six streams. This is probably going to take twice that. <laughs> but I do at least want to finish it if you guys all vote to do it. So they're called free time events or FTEs. Oh, well, that's cool. That's, I love that they can you can do that without having to replay a whole game multiple times. That's a really nice feature. Oh, these poor guys. This is fine. Okay then, let us part for today. We will begin our search for the alter ego in the morning. Hmm. And you should think about what I said. Someone may be very well spying for the mastermind. Dun dun dun! Here comes a weird dream. Oh my gosh, Alex, you're so close. That's cool. Every single time we talk to her, she doesn't care less. That's what makes me think if one of them is likely working for the mastermind, it would be her. But that might be too obvious. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We'd finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope. And then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Then, could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the mastermind? If that's true. Now that would make sense, but someone could also steal it for some other kind of, you know, very, I guess, selfish reason. Might not even have anything to do with the mastermind, potentially. Hey, Arbo, how's it going, Arbo? Good to see you, dude. How was your weekend? And Shilly, once there's more full-size games in VR, you might save up for it. Now there's not a qu not quite enough to play in VR. Honestly, Shilly, at this point, probably wait for the next thing with the PSVR 2 coming out. I'm sure Valve is going to come up with something else. Or another company might come up with a PC-centric VR headset that's even better. <laughs> there you go. It can't be. There's no way. Wait, what's happening? I didn't even realize I'd yelled out that loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. Oh, we're just reacting to our thoughts. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. We just can't keep the team together. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. It doesn't matter how loud we are because these walls are like soundproof, right? <laughs> hey young daddy what is going on dude welcome back that laptop is like the unofficial motive essentially it almost seems like it's like a new murder this chapter and the next meta headset when is that supposed to come out Hasipa? i haven't heard anything about it before long i fell into a restless sleep i think i'm going to get the next uh one of those headsets for andy she has the very first uh quest Murder is a word used uh, whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all the history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. Sometimes, the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. <laughs> These dreams are so weird. But there's often some truth in what's going on right now. 
and you wish you could play Persona 5 Royal, but you can't because it's PlayStation exclusive, and I hate that. That is a bummer, Sheely. I guess the only way you could play it is possibly with that PlayStation streaming on PC, in which case it's kind of like using Stadia or something. You're streaming the game to your computer. I don't know if it's available on there, but a lot of PlayStation games do have that option right now. And DJ, just a friendly reminder, this is all because these people are trying to escape. All they had to do was chill. Celeste had the right idea, right? <laughs> so nothing's been officially announced, but people have mined data. Oh, okay, so there's a lot of clues out there, but nothing official. Okay. And you've been playing around with Xbox Cloud Gaming for a bit, and it's pretty decent. Nice. I, I tried Cloud Gaming on my Xbox Series just a little bit. It worked okay for a, like a, I did like a third person like platformer that worked pretty well but then i tried it in like a racing game i think i tried their need for speed rivals and it was terrible i don't know if it's because it was a dark game or racing games are just tough to stream because of the way the motion works but it just it looked awful <laughs> i would never do that again all right it is morning good morning everyone it is now 7 a.m and nighttime is officially over Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Nice voice. <laughs> I know. Well, and what's kind of cool though, Alex, is like they have released some Persona games on PC, so maybe there's a chance. I don't know if it's like a year exclusivity or whatever. Today we have to look for Alter Ego. First things first, to the dining hall. Yeah, yeah, I think that constant motion, Hasifa, is kind of what made it look bad. And plus, dark colors, when you stream stuff, always looks worse. So it was just the perfect storm of making a bad-looking stream. And you've experienced it through other people, but you still want to play it yourself. Oh, for sure, yeah. I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But when I found out what was waiting there for me... Eh? Hmm. Is this it? What happened to the others? Hmm. Aren't they coming? That's weird. This is a really small gathering. <laughs> There's only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only four people? What the heck? Hmm. Now I wonder if they'll ever get PS4 emulation working really well because in that case you could actually buy the game Sheely like a disc like the blu-ray for the playstation pop it in your computer and play it there <laughs> everything would be essentially compatible on pc i could do that with ps2 games really easily and ps3 now actually god this is why i hate people who take their sweet time with everything however anyway let's wait a little longer for the others Yeah, I saw Persona 5 Strikers. Is that like a fighting game or something? I didn't know much about it. Is it emulation sail sailing the seven seas? No, DJ. Emulation is completely legal. It's downloading the games. It's illegal. So if they had a PS4 emulator and you want to play Persona 5 completely legally, you can still buy the game. You bought it, but you've downloaded an emulator and you play it on your PC. You know, the emulation is totally fine. It's just the... Uh, copying and downloading of the ROMs. That's the, uh, the not so legal area. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. Yeah, I've actually played some PS2 disc games that I own on my PC through an emulator because it was easier than trying to get video out from my PlayStation 3 to my computer. It just wasn't working. So it's like, fine, I'll just emulate it. It'll work fine. And it did. Hey, Waffle Master, what's up, dude? How's it going? Oh, it's like a beat em up? Oh, that's kind of cool. Like uh, like the old Ninja Turtle game, stuff like that. And they released Persona 4 Arena Ultra Max, which is also a spin off. Why not the real games? Come on. <laughs> and you don't like emulating games that are still on the market, to be honest. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I can buy a game, absolutely. But if a PS4 emulator came out, Sheely, you could still buy it. You're, it's just like you're playing it on PlayStation. It's on a PC. <laughs> That's really what the PlayStation 4 is. Is a, you know, differently configured PC. I just wouldn't steal it. Like, if they're actively selling a game, I'm totally against stealing a game. 
um, if I have a way to buy it from the publisher and support the developers and you know play it on my computer, that's fantastic, or on a console or whatever. But when it comes to older games that they don't have available anywhere, that's when I don't mind emulating, even downloading the ROMs. If you're not going to sell it to me, that's not my fault. It doesn't help me to buy a used copy. They don't see any of that money. So you may as well download it if you want to play it. Oh, it's like a Dynasty Warriors game. And I haven't played one of those in a long time, Jumi. Probably since the PS2. <laughs> and the PS5 still has kick-ass music. I heard the soundtrack to those games are really good. And Waffle Master, it's going good. Tomorrow you're filming your second scene. And it's going to be seen from uh, the movie Imitation Game. I've heard of that movie. I don't think I've seen it. Um, you're working nine hours and you have three actors and eight extras on set. That sounds super exciting, Waffle. I hope it goes really well. And that's why you emulate old Nintendo games and only old Nintendo games. <laughs> now with Nintendo games, if you have like a Wii or a Wii U or a 3DS, there are legal ways you can still buy those games, you know, or I guess on Switch, you can just do that membership, right? You can't actually purchase them, but you could play through some of them like that. But at least a lot of the games that I'm playing, uh, that I can't get access to. Uh, sometimes that's the only option is to download it because you can't get it anywhere on any console, any storefront. Okay, so we're waiting in this dining hall for people in case anyone else shows up. But no matter how long we waited, nobody came. Wow. Um... So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Cause I mean... Hero and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. Oh, this is bad. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I'd love to see the link when you got it all set up, Waffle. They were more eager than anyone to look after Alter Ego, and they're not here. It can't be. Something must have happened. Huh? It would seem... I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. Aw, oh, DJ, thank you so much for the lurk, dude. Oh, there's an interesting question. Uh, Mago Legoro. Let's see, would you rather have Chihiro live with a B1 battle droid or R2-D2? Well, just because I'm more familiar with the older Star Wars movies, I'm going to go with an R2-D2. <laughs> what about yourself? Oh, that's right, the money. I forgot all about the money is like another prize to whoever wins this whole thing. I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Yeah, see, Sheely, when it gets to be that old and you can't buy a new copy for the regular price and you're just buying it from somebody on eBay, that's not the same thing. If you're buying a third party thing, don't mind downloading those games if that's the only option because you can't actually give Nintendo money if you wanted to, unless you could buy it digitally, of course. And why not the B1 Battle Droid? That would be cool too. I just am not as familiar. <laughs> hey, Rewritten Stars, how's it going? It's good to see you. This is probably a super weird time to come back, but you were here way back when you played Nancy Drew. That is right. And uh, you're so horrible at keeping up with streamers you followed, but saw you were playing this and had to return. It's so good to see you again, Rewit and Stars. It has been a while. I know you stuck around for some other games after that one, but it's great to see you. What you been up to? What is new with you? Yes, this is all new to me. This game's ridiculous. It's awesome. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks. 10 million smackaroos. Now, of course, life is worth more than any amount of money, right, guys? It's like right? totally wow, 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 am I right? I also try to think, like, which of our crew is the most motivated by money? And I think it would be um, Hero, which is probably the worst with money, right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. Oh, you've been getting into D&D. That's super cool, uh, Stars. You've been playing a lot of that with your friends and starting a new campaign this week. Are you going to be DMing it? That's rad. Yes, the Nancy Drew game was super fun. We've told That was actually another viewer request from uh, Nate. It was a really fun one. And it's now impossible to electronically purchase DS games because they were shut down. As far as I'm concerned, Sheely, like once that happens and they take any way for you to purchase a game, just go ahead and download it. Go ahead and download it. If they want you to buy it, they will re-release it in another storefront where you can legally purchase it through normal means and give the publisher money. Otherwise, you're just filling somebody else's pockets. 
you know? None of that's going to the people that made the game. Oh, you're too scared to DM? Maybe once you get more comfortable. Right now you're a D&D &D baby. Oh, that's still so much fun though, Stars. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, that's what I wanted to say, but we didn't bother. I already understood. I understood, and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. That's what Byakuya keeps telling us. Anything can happen here. You can't consider it strange. Not really. Hey. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Hmm. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. Hey. We can cover more ground if we split up. Maybe that's not the best idea, because we don't know if something bad happened to the rest of the people or not. Sakura, you go to the dorms. Make sure to check all the rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay. <laughs> it's Scooby-Doo search time. Like when you run into a room and then you come out of another room in the hallway and you keep like zigzagging. I love that scene. And they shut down the Smash Brothers Melee tournaments because they were emulating the GameCube game that isn't sold anymore. See, now, I don't agree with that, Sheely, but, but, Nintendo is also... You know, they're making money with these tournaments, essentially. I think once it gets into making money, things get into a very gray area, you know? I'm just shocked that Nintendo has not released, uh, even if it's not modern, even if it's just a completely 100% accurate version of Melee on the Switch. Like, it's crazy that they haven't done that yet, you know? If people want it, give them something to buy. I don't know, It's I think it's insane. All right, anyway. we'll go check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. But... I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Well then. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was written across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Yeah, Nintendo definitely protects their property, right? Yeah, I'll stick with Sakura. It's a good choice, young daddy. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. You know, that's kind of like whenever somebody makes a Nintendo fan project, like a, you know, fan Nintendo game. You're always are worried whenever it gets, like, made public, because you know Nintendo's going to murder it immediately. I, I suppose we got to check every room. We might find them in some random classroom or something. And take down R34 of their characters? What's R34? Oh wait, that goes to the courtroom, huh? I know I'm supposed to be checking, but I really don't want to go in. I never want to go in there again. Okay, so we're not going in there. <laughs> oh, I don't think I checked this room. Oh, I gotcha. Well, <laughs> I guess in a case like that, can you blame them for not wanting to do that? But in a weird way, it's oh my gosh. That was loud. Someone come here. I was going to say, in that case, you know, that's just free advertising, right? What? That was Hina. She's supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. Right away, I saw her standing in the hallway. Please. Makoto. Hina, what's wrong? It's <laughs> awful. The rec room door was open, and when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I'm gonna go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Oh no. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh, she's like beat up. What the hell? It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Um, there's nothing else weird about this place. It's just beat up. Hmm. So why was she screaming? Like, that wouldn't have been a reason to do that. Oh, there's like something on the ground here. I almost missed that. What is this? It's some kind of wooden hammer or something. 
pretty strange design. It says Justice Hammer on the side. There's some writing on the head. Yeah, Justice Hammer 1? Yeah, she ah. leaves. Now the porn, the Nintendo porn, may not be sold, but believe me, it's making money. <laughs> None of those sites are actually free. Um, that is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. And I now curse my lack of daily exercise. So you were attacked with this? Justice Hammer 1? Um, is there anything else I need to look at here, really? Uh. Makoto, Celeste, what happened? Uh. I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by whom? Why weren't you at the dining hall when we were all supposed to meet up? Was she there? I don't think she was there. Uh. I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. A strange man? Uh. A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. That gives me nothing. Absolutely nothing to go off of. Oh, that's true, Hussy. But you know, actually, I just canceled mine. After a long time of having it, I finally canceled it. I just, I don't play PlayStation games online hardly ever. And to be honest, so many of the games that come out on PlayStation Plus, I already own elsewhere. So it doesn't help me too. And that man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Makoto, Celeste. Hey, good. Okay. We got Sakura. We're all safe. <laughs> it was Mr. Strange Man. I found Sakura. What? Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. Uh, strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up this morning a little bit before seven. Nighttime was not over yet, but I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I, if I take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Man, do we trust her? I don't know. Anyway, that is where I first saw the strange man. I was taken immediate. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow him in a secret. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me, and... <sighs> and that's when you were attacked. <sighs> it happened after 7 a.m., just after nighttime had ended. So, if it happened after 7 o'clock... <sighs> then it was just about an hour ago, right? When we were meeting in the dining hall. <sighs> The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. I was wondering, like, why didn't you come down and, like, tell us, you know? And see, the only reason you got PS Plus is because of Tiny Tina's Wonderland had crossplay, and the only one playing it on a console, so you had to play with friends. There you go. Crossplay is so amazing, isn't it? I can't believe it actually exists. Like, from growing up in, like, the Sega versus Nintendo years, I could never imagine people on different platforms playing multiplayer games together. Now it's kind of expected, but man, like for most of my life, I never imagined that'd be possible. And of course we only really played for a day and then plans fell through. So you just wasted your money. <laughs> well, hopefully you only got like a month or something. Maybe not like a year stars. If not, I'm sure you'll find some other games to play soon. But... Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. <sighs> That is one thing I love about PC gaming, is there's no monthly fees for playing games online. Unless it's like an MMO, of course, but usual games like that, you don't have to worry about it. And that is because I begged and groveled for my life. Mm. You did. As for me... I told him I would do anything if he spared me. He offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. I see. So, you were willing to throw away all your pride? Indeed. It was necessary for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could be a serious problem. Let's see what he means for that. Okay, that's good, Stars. This good is just a month. That would suck if you're like, oh, we're going to be playing this all year. You buy like six months, <laughs> and then everyone stops playing it. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? <laughs> when I looked in the rec room, I saw the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him... Ifumi. Oh, now we got something more concrete. Ifumi. After he attacked me, 
he dragged Hifumi away. What? You mean Hifumi was kidnapped? Um... Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us? Indeed. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean... Actually... I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. I'm guessing we can't see what he looks like, though. It's probably just, like, his backside or something. Huh? Seriously, let me see it. Ugh. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. <laughs> what the hell? We saw that character in like the intro. I thought it was just about like his drawings or something. No, it's like a real life thing. I mean, it's a dude in a costume, I'm sure, but still, that's ridiculous. <laughs> huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So, this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away, and I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Okay, okay, I gotta call some bull on her story right now. She just said she took it right after being attacked, correct? Didn't she also say that she was like knocked out for an hour? So like, which was it, huh? I don't know. That doesn't explain the, the picture, but she, she wasn't knocked out for an hour if she took a picture right after the attack. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I see. And believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there is much I don't understand, but. Hmm. The point is someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away and it happened over an hour ago. Just a second! This is bad. We have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where the mysterious man went? Let's see. No, she said she was knocked out. <laughs> when they left the rec room, they headed left. I see. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? Hmm. The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which... Why isn't Kyoko here? Um... Um, sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If a strange man did this and uh, did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry. Kyoko's in danger. I mean, Kyoko's awesome, but uh, Hina did the right thing by get, grabbing Sakura first because we're all safe with her around. As, unless she's the killer. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed uh, out of the room and down to the second floor. Hey, you two! What? What's going on? What's all the fuss? What, 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 what? Yeah, you guys playing a game or something? What are you saying? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? <laughs> yeah, I think Kyoko could probably handle that robot too. She does say she's got really good like self-defense stuff, right? And I mean, you can't be knocked out and still conscious at the same time. Probably. No. <laughs> no, you can't, we've been told. You could be, like, concussed, but not knocked out. She, I thought she said she was knocked out for an hour, which I imagine, like, unconscious. But concussion's different. Concussion is like when you see, like, like a boxer get hit, you know, and they fall to the ground and they're kind of, like, out of it. They're awake a lot of the time, but they're not all there. That's when they have to call the fight immediately. They never actually fall asleep a lot of the time. Though. They're just concussed. But sometimes they get knocked out where they're actually asleep, eyes closed for like five minutes at a time or so until they can wake them up. That's what knocked out really is. Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? You've got to be kidding. No, nope, no, nope. sure haven't. <laughs> Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together. Oh man, she's so obsessed. Stop talking. No, you're just stalking me. 
Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? What? Why? What happened? <sighs> There's no time now. We'll explain later. That's fine. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting is going on. Okay. Hifumi, Kyoko, can you hear me? Say something. Her voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm hmm? Hmm. Oh. Did you hear something? Hmm. Maybe. Perhaps. I think it came from the library. Okay. Good ears, Sakura. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library... Oh, there he is! Oh, he's bleeding. It looks like something else, but that's how this game handles blood. Yeah, her fighter sense is coming clutch. My spider sense is tingling. <laughs> it, it hurts. It hurts. We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Um... I'm glad to see you're still alive. <laughs> At least he's not dead. I mean, he is pretty beat up. <laughs> it's super bad, though. Look at all the blood. What? How did you get hurt? <laughs> that guy hit me. What guy? <laughs> Robot Justice. Er, that's what I decided to call him just now. See, he knew the name. And then he's like trying to change his story right away. That's kind of suspicious. What What did you say? What are you talking about? Okay, we gotta ask him some questions. Oh, there's another hammer right here. What the hell? But that one has a two on it. It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the rec room. But this one, Justice Hammer 2. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I feel right now, young daddy. He attacked me with that hammer. He bonked me right on the head with it. Well... A hammer that big? I'm surprised you're still okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Hey. Protein helps uh, heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? <laughs> she just carries protein on her at all times. <laughs> I have never heard of such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> Okay, let's talk to him. That guy was Robo Justice. Indeed. This Robo Justice you're referring to, this is, is it not? Oh, what and then the we show the I picture. At? <laughs> yeah, protein saleswoman. Multiple times. Protein coffee. We need more protein in the in the uh, warehouse. All that kind of stuff. Uh, what the hell am I looking at? Uh, this is the one that attacks Celeste and Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? Mm, yeah, that's this him. This is unforgivable! I'm sure of it. Robo Justice. It can't be. It looks kind of like Voltron or something. Robo Justice, huh? Damn. This just keeps getting stranger. <laughs> oh, gosh. If if this building had no protein mutatome, everybody would be dead. Sak Sakura would murder us all immediately and get out of here with all the protein she wants. Oh gosh. <laughs> Not him again. I guess the closest thing to a jar of protein, young daddy, would be like whey protein, maybe? I'd take that stuff after my workouts. It's him. <laughs> a robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? <laughs> Was that robot what? his doing? I'm confused. <laughs> he has a Kobo. His voices are crazy. They just The voice actor has great range, though, I gotta say. Why is he here? Are you okay with this? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. What about you, Celeste? Didn't you get beat up, too? Yeah. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. How many people does it take? Hmm. How are you feeling, Hifumi? You want me to take a look at you? Um. I'm okay. I think it stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. So then... Perhaps you should rest here a while. I suppose. Yeah, good idea. Well then. Yeah, that Monokuma song is a bop, isn't it? 
The rest of us should get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Yes, indeed. Indeed, before another victim appears. Luckily, no dead victims yet. The justice hammers seem to be increasing in size. First one, now two. So in other words, if there was a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. Oh. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure. Hmm. Well, depends on where you get hit. Tell us what happened to you, Hitfumi. Um. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor, and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. Hmm. That must be what I witnessed around 7 this morning. Well... After that, he dragged me to the library and whack, came down with the hammer. <laughs> Seriously, there's so many moving parts, young daddy. You almost have to take notes, right? That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Hmm. At around 7.30, in other words, we still would have been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura, and I were together, and Kyoko was still with us. So we all have alibis. <laughs> I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Yes! His black underwear was as black as pitch black darkness and the blackest night. What? Why do you know that? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because I was peeking. Anyway, so that means Byakuya and Toko were together at the same time. Meaning they also have alibis. Unless they worked at it together, huh? Then the only ones who don't have alibis for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked are the only two we haven't seen yet, Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? Very strange. By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. Um... Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking on the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. We only checked one room. <sighs> Where could she have disappeared to? Hmm. She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. I don't think that Byakuya likes her at all, because she's just as smart, if not smarter than him and all this stuff. So that's it. She might be exactly as I expected. Hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... Hm. I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? In other words... I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying... Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible. What? Isn't it? This woman, who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies, hasn't even revealed her true identity. Hey! Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Okay. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only going to be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't even shown up yet. She's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Um... Don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after I rest for a little bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Well then. Okay, let's go. Yeah, this game has a pretty good, like, uh, kind of quest log system where you can look up previous things said and, like, people's statuses. I like that. So, whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Because they can hide their identity? But don't bother looking for a reason from a deviant. What to do? What so, to do? So, what are we going to do? Split up and look around? Huh. I suppose our, our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What? What's wrong? <laughs> I saw a shadow, something moving around at the top of the stairs. Oh. Really? Oh, oh gosh, <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> Up on the second floor, then. Damn. You bastard. You won't get away from me. We all shot towards the stairs. Okay. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Well. But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and I'll come running. Oh. Okay, but what should we yell? Just a second. Anything. It doesn't matter. So then. Then is, huh? Okay. What are you saying? Ha, or do ya, or whatever you want. Just yell loud enough so we can hear you. <laughs> mm, do ya? I have never heard such a reaction. <laughs> okay, whatever. Just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Every time it catches me by surprise. 
Hey, Mr. Robot, where are you hiding? If you don't come out, we're going to decommission you. We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. I'll check these bathrooms. They're just kind of like right here. This is the girl's bathroom. Even though this is an emergency, I can't go in. You absolutely can. Just knock first. Make sure there's no one in there. But you're looking for somebody hiding. Somebody maybe trying to uh, conceal something, you know? Nothing there but cleaning supplies. Okay. Oh, crap. Man, I just checked one room. That strange cry. That had to be Celeste. I hope she wasn't hit with the number three hammer. She might just be like a jibs all over the floor. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. Why the hell did she go up there? I thought we decided she was on the second floor. I guess they could have kept going up to the third floor. Right? That's very suspicious where Kyoko is. I'm scared she might be the one dead. Everyone. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Just a second. Celeste, what's wrong? What? But that was rather intense scream for someone like you. Oh, I saw him. The strange, confused man. He ran off as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> Ew. Ew, it's all those projectiles. <laughs> Cover your mouth. Huh? Huh? It's really true. But that doesn't matter right now. Wait, what's really true? Was there like some something about her sneezing? I don't remember. Huh? huh? What was that? Oh, that came from downstairs. It must have been Ifumi. He's in the nurse's office. Oh crap. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What? What about the suspect? We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Then why don't we split into two groups? It's all clear now. I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. So then... Very well. Then, Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will lead the capture of the suspicious individual to Toko, Sakura, and Byakuya. So then... We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. I'm scared we're going to have like two bodies. Or even more right away. I think they can only kill two, though. Me, Celeste, and Hina all round downstairs to the first floor. Just a second. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Okay, the nurse's office was that one that was kind of blocked off. Yeah, this is it. Used to be blocked off. We stormed into the nurse's office, and we're, what greeted us was a world of dripping crimson. Oh, no. Now, they say crimson, which I think of blood, but it's more like dripping of Pepto-Bismol. It's going to be pink. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, his head is just wrecked. Everything was covered in red or pink. And in the center of all this red was Ifumi. No! Oh, man. What, what the... It looks like something very bad has happened. You think? Oh, there's another hammer, too. I certainly was not expecting this. I did not imagine that Hifumi <laughs> would be murdered. I mean, no you left way. him alone. Always that potential when that happens. Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Oh, that means it's ti trial time, huh? Doesn't everybody have to see the body or something, though? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! That's right, we get to, like, look around and explore before we actually go to the trial area. What the? Oh, that was the body discovery announcement body discovery announcement when three or more people discover a body after a murder that's what plays oh no three or more people discover a body 
only... Oh, wait, no, there's three of us, right? No, 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 okay, this could be us. I was going to say, crap, uh, there's only two of us, that means three people must have discovered a different body. But no, there might not be any other bodies. And since we just heard it, that means... Mm. It must mean, Ifumi, someone killed him. One of us. One of us? <sighs> and look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. There it is. And it's an even bigger hammer than the other two. Okay. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer... There can be no doubt. The suspicious individual going by what Hufumi called him. The culprit must be Robo-Justice. That's who we're going to vote out. Robo-Justice. Whoever's hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait. You saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall? So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying that he, like, teleported or something, right? Are you okay with this? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we just have to tell the others. Wait, maybe I missed something. What do you mean, teleported? Didn't we walk him to the nurse's office and leave him here? You're right. So then... Then, shall we go? <sighs> Hina, snap out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry. I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kind of... Hmm. This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll go get everyone. Oh, maybe she's talking about the, the robot. I was thinking, actually, him, yeah. You stay here with Hina. <sighs> Very well. I'll leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. This is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? Celeste, what's wrong? I like these like, flashbacks to remind you what they said, so you know, for sure. <laughs> There's no question. That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, that strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down into the hallway and disappeared. He ran off, going further down the hallway. Why into the back of the hallway? I mean, if they're blocking the stairs, where else is to go, right? So I'm guessing this way? It's kind of like a big L shape, so it's kind of hard to know what the back of the hallway is, you know? It's not like a straight shot from where we started. Let's see. Okay, there's this way, but it's probably this way. We've been here before. I can't remember which room this is. Oh, the laboratory. That's right. Uh, that they call like the air purifier. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there? In the back? Let's get our handy dandy angle. Oh no. How about this way? Maybe they meant the back room. Maybe I should save it. I don't know that I can, like, get killed or anything, but it's always a good idea to save it. Let's overwrite that one. I leapt through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. Another death? The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Right. Oh, Taka! He was one of our suspects. There, in a pool of his own blood, was Taka. Dead. He is dead! Okay, I was gonna say, maybe he's just knocked out? Nope. He also got hammered. Chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. <laughs> Double kill! <laughs> the 
Kafumi's body discovered in the nurse's office. Taka's body discovered in the equipment room. I was witness to both nightmares, uh, to two nightmares, one right after the other. No, they weren't nightmares. This is a harsh reality. The true nightmare in this reality, the reality I have to face every day, but still. Why is this happening? Okay, they were already here. Oh, and she got knocked out. What the hell's going on here? Why is she on the ground? Toko? Don't tell me Toko too. Hmm. Relax. She just passed out when she saw the blood. Oh, that, I forgot that she doesn't like the look of blood. The blood? Oh, that's right. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood, right? Hmm. We tried everything to get her to wake up, but no luck. Just leave her to me for now. It's like he said, I should just leave her plans alone for now. But let's not do that. <laughs> Alright, let's investigate the body. Taka. Damn it. Why did this happen? I just heard a weird noise. Oh. There's like two things on the body. What is this? Damn it. Why did this happen? Okay, that's not it. Is that one? The floor is covered in Taka's drying blood. Okay, that's what it was. I couldn't tell what was actually being highlighted. It was the uh, pink blood stain the whole time. Oh, he's out of words. That's rare. Oh, everyone is. Another hammer. Now this is just his hammer four, and it's even bigger than before. Oh my gosh, and weren't we saying three would kill somebody? What would four do? Just cave in their head completely? Is that suspicious individual responsible for uh, killing Taka too? However, but why is it Justice Hammer Four? Huh? What do you mean? Hmm. Teles was attacked with Justice Hammer One. Then Hufumi was hit with Justice Hammer Two. But this time it was Justice Hammer Four. What happened in Number Three? That is a great question. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. What? What's the matter? Well, when you mentioned Justice Hammer 3, you just reminded me. What? Out with it. Do you know something? Actually, Taka's not the only one that's been killed. Ifumi's dead too. What? Hey! Yeah. I see. Which is why you came to get us. Then we better go check it out. Damn. Of course, come on. So, Sakura, Byakuya, and I rushed out of the physics lab. But as soon as we were out of the physics lab... Oh! Well, there she is. Celeste, aren't you supposed to be waiting in the nurse's office? Okay. Something has come up, getting more shady all the time. Hmm. Hmm, yeah, I heard. Ifumi is dead, right? Indeed. Well, that is not as all. Or, not all, it is gone. Huh? What's gone? It has disappeared. Uh oh. Disappeared? Oh, Ifumi's body has disappeared. The hell? Oh, maybe check the uh, the fire disposal, right? <laughs> Might be trying to get rid of a body that way. Although there's no way Hero is fitting in there. Who are we kidding? What, what did you say? What are you talking about? It's disappeared. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Are you serious? What? What the heck is happening here? Hey. Everyone, back to the nurse's office. I practically leapt down the stairs, nearly losing my balance. I reached the nurse's office completely out of breath. I couldn't believe my eyes. If Umi's body was there just a few minutes earlier, just disappeared. Wow. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. Speaking of Hitman, you know, that's that's something you gotta do if you're a Hitman. You gotta dispose of bodies. Usually you don't do it yourself. You might pay other people to do it, I think. Me and Celeste went to the bathroom. But when we were only gone for like a minute, and then when we got back... Indeed. This must be the work of the culprit. They must have come and carried the body away. 
then they must really be enjoying this. Enjoying the sight of us standing around, talking, or starting around, frightened and confused. Okay. We're all going to die here. Oh, crap. They're going to start giving me more of that. We're all going to die just like those guys did. What What did you say? Guys did. Like other people in our group. Hey, Sheely, welcome back, dude. I don't believe this. I don't believe a body would just disappear. Why? First off, there were two murders, and now one of the bodies has been taken. This is unnatural. Huh? Hold on. What do you mean, two murders? Gina. Taka's been killed. We found him in the equipment room. No way! It can't be. Taka? Uh, it can't be. It can't be. No! Hina. Calm down. We're all going to die. All of us. They're going to kill all of us. Oh my gosh. Positive thinking. Come on, Hina. <laughs> then, who might uh, the next target be? Toko? What? I completely forgot. She's still unconscious in the equipment room. Well... You left her at the scene of the crime? That sucks. <laughs> at least lock her in a room or something, you know? <laughs> we didn't have a choice. She passed out, and she refused to wake up. Huh? So, she is still unconscious? Damn. Wait. So you knew she was up there and said nothing? Why? Oh, whoops. <laughs> that makes more sense, Sheely. <laughs> that annoying little insect that clings to me wherever I go. We'd better we'd be better off without her. Bastard! Whoa. <laughs> uh, calm down. You forget about her, don't didn't you? You have no right to blame me. Everyone stop fighting. Right now we need to hurry back. Huh? I can't take this anymore. I don't want anyone else to die. Damn. The Akuya. If someone's happened to Toko, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> that laugh. We shot out of the nurse's office and bolted up the stairs, heading back to the third floor. We ran back to the equipment room at full speed. And when we got there... Oh yeah, she's still there. Hopefully not dead yet. Toko... Thank God you're okay. But right away, I noticed there was something different uh, here. Oh, it looks like there was like two blood streaks kind of going down at an angle, making me think, yeah, somebody just dragged the body recently. Maybe we could find somebody that has some pink on their hands. It was gone. Taka's body, which should have been right there, had disappeared. Th this is... This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? No, it's not a hallucination. I know I saw it before. And uh, with what I'm seeing now, isn't what I saw before. Huh? What are you seeing? Taka disappeared too? Stop talking. Stop saying disappeared. Taka just didn't want to vanish in thin air. Obviously, whoever did this has a, uh, hidden the body. But why would they do that? <laughs> I couldn't possibly begin to imagine. Okay. Let's see. And the killer's being a whole magician. <laughs> I mean, you, you kind of have to be, right? You have to keep so many secrets and hide so much stuff. Anyway, our costume suspect is clearly continuing his crime spree. <laughs> We gotta hurry up and catch him before he kills all of us. Not possible. So, hmm. Huh? Hmm. Think about it. Who could possibly be responsible for killing and hiding these dead bodies? Well... I would hmm. say you could. <laughs> when Hifumi's death cry went up, everyone here was together on that third floor. It is so. And now, this time, you've all come here as a group from the nurse's office. In other words, the only ones who could have done this are Hiro and Kyoko, who are still missing. Hold on a second. Kyoko has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. 
And surely there's lots of misused condoms. It's a little maddening reading sentences that are grammatically correct in games and books, or aren't grammatically correct. Yeah, sometimes when I'm reading stuff, I like start to put the wrong emphasis because of a comma missing or something like that. But, I mean, there's a lot of dialogue to translate in this game. Some of those are always gonna be, you know, slipping through the cracks. There's no question that she was in the dining hall with hmm. us. Hmm. You seem very av adamant about defending her. Perhaps you are in love. That's not it at all. That's fine. Well, fine. Anyway, yes, I do accept Kyoko's alibi. Let's see. Which means the suspicions individuals we're looking for can be none other than Hero. Hmm. Which further means there will be no more murders. The regulations are very clear about that. At least no more tonight, right? Yeah, it's hard to keep all those rules straight, you know? Sometimes, luckily, it is easy to look them up. Oh, that's right. There's a rule that says you can only kill a maximum of two people. That's right. And as long as that rule is in place, there will never be a third murder. They will just... Oh, oh crap. I mince ya. Mince ya without a second thought. Mince ya, grind ya, turn ya into paste. By the way, did you know that fish paste can be referred to shellfish? Like shrimp or crab? That's my favorite kind of seafood. Crabs, lobsters, uh, clams, all that kind of good stuff. Did I say misused condoms? <laughs> what was the correct thing to, to read? I don't know. I have to go back and uh, clip that. Or if somebody could clip that, I gotta read what I was actually supposed to be reading. Indeed. Let's see. So since two people have been killed, there is no possibility of any more. Perhaps. You knew that from the beginning, didn't you, Byakuya? Which means you knew Toko was never in danger. Hm. I still meant it when I said we'd be better off without her, though. In other words... Anyway, with that in mind, we can now relax and search for the two missing bodies. Two missing bodies. Two people have been killed, and their bodies have been hidden. The only one without an alibi, and the only one who could have done it, is Hiro. But is he really the killer? What about Kyoko? If she's not involved in this case, where did she go? Although, Hiro was at that meeting with us, right? Because he dragged us there. He, he, like, woke us up, I think, if I'm correct. Oh, getting close, Phantasma. What? Hey, Makoto, what's the matter? Uh, oh no, it's nothing. Hm. Whatever. We need to find those bodies, or our little narrative here can't move forward. So then... Very well. I will let us split up and begin searching. But... Oh, <laughs> instead of commas? You also don't want to misuse condoms. They're very important. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more important than commas. <laughs> there is no need to be afraid. No more murders will take place during this case. Because, I mean... I know that. I mean, I think I do, but... Hina... If you're still nervous, I'll come with you. Huh? Okay, thank you. Hmm. No need to thank me. <laughs> I can, can you can you hang out with me too, <laughs> Sakura? I could use the protection. Okay, now let's get moving. Yell if you find anything. The Yakuya left the equipment room, followed by the others. I have to try and find the two missing bodies. Gosh, they could be anywhere. Uh, let's double check this room though. There might have been more to this. I'm not sure. That humming noise when it first starts, it sounds like a drum roll. She's still out? Wow, is nobody gonna like take her to her bed or something? Kind of messed up. When Toko is, um, Toko, she has a fear of blood. I don't think we have to worry about anyone else dying, so I'll just leave her alone for now. <laughs> That's messed up. Taka's entire body has disappeared, leaving behind nothing but a bloodstain. This is a tarp. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Nothing worth thinking about too much.
<laughs> for meaning, absolutely, commas are very important. But assuming it's just the speech and that's all, nothing's going to come from it. You misuse a condom, you got you got a very expensive road ahead of you with unexpected children. Hey, we got another one of those. Nice. We haven't gotten very many recently. I think we looked at this one already. Oh, this was Justice Hammer 4. Yeah, we, we saw this one. Oops. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Oh, and Hasifa, uh, I don't know if you're still there. I wanted to uh, give you an update. So on my Steam Deck, I, I went through the process of looking up my exact order time, and it was at like... 18 minutes and 35 seconds was the actual order time and there's a reddit page where people post when they ordered it and when they got the email to actually be able to purchase their steam deck and i think it's up to like 17 minutes and 20 seconds or something so if i'm lucky maybe thursday but more likely next week i might be able to get the chance to purchase mine we'll see <laughs> it's a long time coming Okay, so right now we don't really have any particular idea of where to look. We're just looking for um, more floors. We're just looking for dead bodies. Could be anywhere. Well, let's go to this. There we go. I haven't checked this area yet. Alex, you're getting so close to a game request. Damn. We need to search for the bodies that have disappeared. What happens after that? Huh? Where could the two dead bodies have disappeared to? Well, apparently not in here. Otherwise, you probably would have already had some success. <laughs> not the stone, booba. Wait, did I go in that back room? I forgot about the back room here. Yeah, there's a another door there. Oh, this door must be locked. I could have sworn we got in there before. Maybe not. Maybe we've never been there. Okay, so this is where we can spend some of our money on, like, uh... Gambling, they got some pool and billiards, or billiards and, uh, what do you call it, darts. Yeah, no need to sweat that a random door is locked, no problem at all. What's the worst could be behind there, right, Zakobo? Probably not a giant robot suit. Okay, I don't see any clues in here. I bounce pretty quick when we don't see anything. Oh, God! And there's a jump scare, she just appears right in your face. Makoto, come on. Why are you just standing there? We need to get to the repository. Huh? You mean... Indeed. I found them. If Fumi and Taka's bodies had both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told Hina and Sakura. We'll go on ahead. The bodies were in the repository? Wait, which room was the repository? I don't remember. Yeah, see, those are just classrooms over there. So let's go downstairs. Oh, wait. It is up here. Repository. There's two classrooms. There's the rec room. Let's see. Are they talking about this room back here? I'm not sure. <laughs> and she looks like a vampire. It's perfect. Oh, Othello, Sheila. Yeah, I remember. I think did Celeste want to play it, maybe? I forget. Ugh. And the body's here somewhere. So this is the repository? I'm guessing this back room. Which I could have sworn I just tried to open and was locked. Interesting. Yeah, the doorknob turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door, and when I entered, I saw... Oh crap. There they are. They got moved. 
At least it's not more dead bodies. We still haven't found, uh, what's her name, Kyoko yet. The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. Before I saw, or what I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for a second time. Oh yeah, they, they've only done that for Hifumi so far. So we also have to do that for uh, Taka. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. Nice. All right. We're almost to the trial already. And so here we are. It's the Monokuma file. Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file. <laughs> I was going to hand them out when you found the bodies the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to resist, but turns out I was right. Stop talking. Just hand it over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now, make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Hmm. Well then, now that we've found the bodies, all that's left to... Uh, all that's left is to uncover the culprit. What the heck? It's almost like they wanted Byakuya to tell you before you went in. Mmm, that's kind of shady. I see where you're going with that. And there was a group of three before that found Taka, right? I think you're right. It was Sakura, Hina, and Byakuya, right? Maybe Hina went with us. Celeste. Maybe Celeste went. Was it? Or Byakuya, Sakura. Oh, Toko. That's right. I forgot about Toko. So yeah, they should have already done that thing, even if we didn't see it, right? How can you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know? That's terrible. Dead? Gone forever? They're never coming back? Oh, she got tears... Like, building up in her eyes. <laughs> awful. This is just too awful. Hina suddenly burst into tears. She clutched at Hifumi's lifeless body. Aww. Who, who would do this? Why? Why? Large, wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some... World of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. The hell? <laughs> it was a movie! <laughs> this wasn't... He's alive again? Where am I? Cold... So cold. Is winter coming? Maybe in, uh, what is a Game of Thrones place called? Westeros? <laughs> Hifumi, wake up! <laughs> She's getting jam everywhere. Come on. Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you guys! I remember everything before I met you all. I met you all. <laughs> His memories are blending together. He has nothing useful to offer us. <sighs> the light. It's weird when it keeps jumping between like fully read statements and not read at all. It's reaching out to me like the tail of a comet. Hey, Ifumi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? Tried to kill you and didn't succeed. That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Oh. Isn't that isn't that Taka? That doesn't make sense. Well, maybe. Maybe somebody could kill somebody and then get murdered themselves. That is totally possible. But that's very weird, for sure. 
His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute, undeniable death. Wait, what the hell? He just died again? He came back just to talk a little bit and, and died? Oh, Hero is a fortune teller. That's right. Okay. That was kind of the uh, prime suspect, I believe, in this case so far. And goodbye, Hifumi. You might have been an odd man, but you didn't deserve to die. Honestly, so far, none of them have deserved to die. They've all had some very fun, redeeming qualities. They just made poor choices, wrong place, wrong time. I feel probably the worst for Chihiro. There was no second miracle. Reality set in. Hmm. This isn't some stereotypical fantasy world. Tears can't restore a person's vitality. Almost did. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? Your blood in your veins. No calcium in your bones. At least you have your uh, meat. Wait, what? what? Huh? <laughs> At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way to return. Just to leave us with these unnecessary dying words. Now this game has become exceedingly boring. Huh. He said Yashihiro, right? Then perhaps... Yashihiro Hagakure. This is the only person it could have been refreshing to. So in other words... And with that, this case is solved. I'm sure not quite. <laughs> Monkey game, can I crash it? I have not had to crash this entire game. Luckily, Monkey, very luckily. How are you doing, dude? What you been up to? And Hufumi still probably had brain damage to his brain. He just woken up for moments before he faded. That kind of seems like it, you know? You just kind of wake up and say, Rosebud, and then pass out. And you're gone, you don't come back. And Michael, what's up, Michael? How you doing, buddy? You're doing a two hour Risk of Rain run. That's awesome. How many hours do you actually have in that game? You've been playing it for a long time. And Michael, we finally have some deaths this chapter. If you remember the last stream, we went, we played the entire, you know, first chapter, or like the entire first half of chapter three, not a single death. I don't know what was going on. Well, the laptop that we were using is now missing. We don't know who took it. And then people didn't come to the morning meeting the next day and we went looking for them and we found two bodies. We've lost Hifumi and we've lost Taka. They're both dead. Very sadly. But we have really not a 100% clue of who did it. Um, Hifumi called out... Uh, what's his name? Um, Hori? That's the clairvoyant guy. So he said that he did it. So that's about all we have to go on. And if he had a pulse, then he was alive. And if he had to have a pulse to wake up right there. That's true, Sheely. They did not do a good job of checking to see if he was dead or not. Because... He had been there for so long, yeah, they would have been able to check a pulse and be like, oh, he's alive, he's breathing, he's just not waking up. 906 hours, that's incredible, dude. That's like how much time I probably put into some MMOs that just kind of go on forever, you know? You quit for like a year, uh, but it didn't, then you wouldn't have gained about a thousand hours. Oh, well, good that you took a break. Got to experience some other games. And Hifumi's death feels even sadder to me since, well, you watched him die in real time. Oh, that's true. That was hard to watch. That was brutal. Okay. So poor Byakuya is kind of disappointed because he told us who did it, potentially. So he's just kind of like, ah, this is boring. Assaulting people and even killing Taka and Hifumi. And then going so far to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what Hero is? What is this? If it's true, I can't forgive him. No way I can ever forgive him. To kill two of our friends. That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. <laughs> I didn't do it. I really didn't do it, Michael. <laughs> I was running around trying to catch up to all these things happening. Although, this time is not all that life or death. The trial will conclude without much trouble. Indeed. That would be weird if this is just like a super easy, clear-cut case. <laughs> That'd be kind of boring. I'm sure there's going to be some kind of twist. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no doubt 
uh, but where to go through this. Make sure everyone survives. Seriously, three people in one chapter? Dang. I just have to do it. Wait a second, who's the third one? We've lost Hifumi and Taka. We've, we're missing people, Sheely, but has anyone else died? Oh, I guess we'll lose a third one because of the trial. That's what you're getting at? That makes sense. Okay, I better check the Monokuma file first. The victims were Hifumi Yamada, Hiyotaka Ishimiru, and the cause of death for each was a blow to the head. It is thought that they were both killed with a similar weapon. That's it. Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information than this time before. <sighs> or this time then before. That is no problem. After all, the events of this case unfolded before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the Monokuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. There's something else that's been bothering me. Hmm. Someone else has been missing for quite a while. Kyoko, right? We haven't seen Kyoko in so long. Are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt. She has an alibi for when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? See, that gets really tricky. You might not just be able to nail one person. An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Got Celeste could care less every time he pops up. Uh, maybe she isn't working for him. I don't know. And I haven't seen Hero for even longer since yesterday. I thought maybe I'm mixed up the Kobo, but I could have sworn um, a Hero actually like brought us from our room. He like knocked on the door or something, and then we followed him to the uh, the dining hall in the morning. So I thought he was there with us the whole time. Monokuma appears. Don't be rude. I'm here to answer your question. What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial? I don't remember the rule. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Wolverine! How is it going, Wolverine? Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream and how are you doing? Let me tab over here real quick. It's good to see you. Did you have a good weekend? Let me give you a shout out there. There we go. You were doing some more Elden Ring. Oh, did you just start that? I don't remember you playing Elden Ring before. How are you liking it so far? I've been so obsessed with that game for weeks now. I'm something like level 80 something with my wife. She's in the 90s. She's a little bit higher level than I am, but we're really enjoying the game. We're trying to play as much of it co-op as we can, but it's tricky. Oh, your raid was super behind. Uh, you raided it was like 10 minutes ago. Oh, no. <laughs> was it like a problem with the countdown or something? That's okay, Wolverine. I appreciate you dropping by. It's great to see you. And so speaking of which, though, how are you liking uh, Elven Ring? This music. I love this music. So, Ky Kyoko, this is not her here. This is all flashback stuff. In other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? I don't know about that. Nice. Now, have you played any of the other Souls games? And, and what do you think of Elden Ring so far? In other words... So, basically, you can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So you were implying nobody worked together this time, either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. It would obstruct the free exchange of information between you guys. I just want to make sure you don't forget. No matter how much you might assist in a murder, Phew. only the black can congratulate. An accomplice gets nothing. So in other words, 
then we only need to figure out who that one black end is and did the killing, right? Just like normal. Let's see. Yeah, it's super fun playing that game. Um, uh, honestly, that's pretty much all that I want to do is play that game <laughs> at all times when I'm not streaming or not at work or something. I picked um, Vagabond, and I forget what my wife picked. She's like a uh, faith caster, and it's really fun playing it together. It's tricky, but um, it's really cool. It's it's more of a little bit of an annoyance because you can't make progress together. You basically have to beat every boss twice to progress with somebody else, but it's worth it. You get more experience. It's fun. Um, oh, dang, you did platinum all. Never mind. This is a piece of cake for you. You are very well versed in Souls games. Cool, I'm glad you got into it. I wonder, like, at the end, how you'll rank it with the others. Because I've only ever played Demon Souls, Bloodborne, and now Elden Ring. I never played any of the Dark Souls or Sekiro. Well? Okay, okay. Let me take this opportunity to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... Stream! The one true Blacken who devised the murder plot and put it into action. The true black end. So just one person. Well now. Oh, you do an astrologer. That's kind of the intellect caster, right? I want to try a casting uh, character later on. Maybe after I beat the game or something. But uh, that's awesome. Cool. I'm glad to hear you're liking it. Um, yeah, you know, I started trying to do like a strength build in that game, but the, the strength weapons are just too slow. I wasn't having very much fun with them, and it's really hard to hit the bosses because they move around so much. So I'm kind of changing it to what they call a quality build, which is still melee focused, but it's like half strength and half dex, and you get much faster weapons. And Michael, Sekiro is the hardest FromSoft game in your opinion, and you beat all the Souls games, and you're still playing Elden Ring. I imagine it probably would be Michael, because like in that game, you don't kind of uh, gain experience and like new weapons and stuff like the other games, right? I think it, you're a little bit more limited in how you can progress. You can't like get overpowered or anything, which is good for that kind of difficulty. Okay, that's enough for explainifying. Now, it's down to the final battle between all of you and the Blackened. Good luck to all the contestants. I'll probably try it sometime, but <laughs> I'm definitely nervous. I do like hard games, but they can be super frustrating too. Actually, I think Elden Ring, from what I've heard, some of the bosses are like the toughest in any of the games, but the game gives you so many options to make it easier without implementing an easy mode, such as... Um, Summoning people into your game, summoning those like spirits. Of course, there's so much exploration you can do for like new weapons and you know, leveling up and stuff like that. Let's see. And Sheila, you found an anime called Kids on the Slope, and it's all about jazz music. It has the best animation of musicians you've ever seen. Everything is perfectly accurate because it was all rotoscoped over video of people playing the instruments, but it's done loosely enough that it keeps that animated look and feel. Oh, that's cool. I always thought rotoscoping looks neat, but doesn't look like animation exactly. So that's good to see that they stylized it a bit. And Sekiro was definitely not an RPG. You can't just make yourself overpowered. Yeah, you definitely got to like just master every single enemy and perfectly time their dodges. You can't like, oh, I'm just going to level up hold up my shield, take a few hits, and then hit him back kind of thing. Nope, not happening. But speaking of which, uh, I don't know the channel name. I think it's called something like Goat on a Stick. <laughs> Check it out on YouTube. See if you can find it. Goat on a Stick. But they did an animation recently about what it's like playing Elden Ring. It's pretty funny. It's pretty accurate. And it also uses that rotoscoping animation, speaking of which. Hmm. And I can't see any way Kyoko would be connected to this case after all. Hmm. You may be right. Um. If that's true, then Kyoko, where are you? However. Yeah, she's got some explaining to do. As long as she's not connected to the case, it doesn't matter. Let's get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that Hiro is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose it can't hurt to preserve further information. So, um. You know. You don't think we should consider a certain someone as a suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murderous fiend, Genocide Jack. What? Every time she says that, it sounds just like Cartman's mom in South Park. Do you guys get that reference? 
Why I'm offended? Huh? You. When did you? I've been looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. You SOB! Anyway, you there, milk sack swimming girl. Huh? Milk sack? You've gotta be kidding! Why do I gotta be a suspect? What the heck? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. Oh, Kyle's mom, not Carson. Right, that's that's true. Thank you for calling me out of that, Jimmy. Yeah. Um, I think it's Cartman that usually makes Kyle's mom say that. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, not Cartman's mom. Cartman's mom is always like very calm and just like basically placating Cartman's every wish, right? <laughs> and Sheely Family Guy does the same thing. And it's really funny because the show isn't known for its animation being high quality, but any drumming scene in the show is super accurate just because the drums are almost never animated accurately. That's kind of cool. I actually really like that they do that. What, 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 what? So what? I'm like a special guest sus suspect every time. I have an alibi, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When we heard Hifumi scream, she was with me. And when the bodies disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Taka's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to move Hifumi's body. Yep. Besides, I calculate every move I make. I'm not going to kill someone when everyone knows what I look like. I also assume that they'd be, you know, punctured with scissors. <laughs> they don't call me the murderous fiend for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another topic, we post a guard by the bodies like before. We can't have them disappearing again. So then... Hina and I can handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm... Sure. I'd be totally totally useless on the investigation anyway. It's all clear now. Then that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All but one of us have an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But... Maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Not a chance. Not a chance. Okay. Guess we should probably check out all the major things again. Taka. He'll never move again. According to the Monokuma file, Taka died from a blow to the head. We found Justice Hammer 4 near his body in the equipment room. Is that what was used to kill him? And there's a tarp laid out under his body. Did the killer use this to move Taka's body? That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. That's pretty smart. Hey, now we're collecting these uh, truth bullets. I love it. And you have a strong feeling Byakuya might be the killer, going by the way he's acting in the last case. That's a, not a bad idea, Michael. I was kind of thinking the same thing. Also, he keeps coming up with these excuses like, oh, you know, uh, what's her name? Um... Toko couldn't have done that. You like lifted him. Well, maybe they did work together at you know her their alibi being together, but they could have worked together and he could have moved the bodies. You know, she could have helped with the killing. And the first two attacks were non-lethal, so Kyoko's alibi might not be perfect. That's true, Young. Although, um, what's Kyoko's alibi? Like she was with us when we were first meeting in the morning, right? And then after that, we all split up and we never saw her again. But that was after the first two attacks, I think. I think. Okay, Hifumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His really big body. Dude, the guy's dead. <laughs> you don't have to keep talking shit. I mean, how on earth was a killer able to move someone so big? From the nurse's office where he was discovered to here in the repository. All the way from the first floor to the third floor. And without anyone noticing it. How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can think about it later. For now, I'd have to finish investigating Hif Hifumi himself. If I remember correctly, Hifumi's fatal injury was a, also a blow to the head. I know, kicking him while he's down, that's messed up. Probably just Justice Hammer 3, which is laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. Why am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hufumi's body in the nurse's office versus his body right now. 
That's it, his glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, his glasses were covered with blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? Well, I mean, he would do it, right? Because he wasn't dead when we found him in the uh, library. So we took him to the nurse's office. He had plenty of time to wipe off his glasses then, right? At least that's what I'd assume what would happen. He couldn't see very well without wiping them. Yeah, moving him would be hard. There's a dolly in the background. My guess is that somebody used the dolly to move him. It's a dolly. It doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before. I guess it's used to move statues around. It's kind of awkward. But if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. Huh, but wait. Wasn't this in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Aha! Aha! <laughs> and look at the wheel. So his glasses were found, but okay, I think I misunderstood how they said it. Yeah, I thought they said like he, like I thought they were going in chronological order. Like we found him in the library and his glasses were covered with blood, but then we found him in the nurse's office and they were wiped. <laughs> I mean, this is possible. So they were found in the nurse's office covered in blood, but now that he's been moved, they're clean. Okay, that's weird. That is definitely weird. All right, and look at the wheel. And there's blood on the wheel. Mmm, this is definitely used to move him. So there's blood on the wheel of the dolly that was moved from the equipment room to the repository. What's the explanation for that? Let's go ahead and talk to him. Biakuya, do you really think Hiro did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone could think otherwise. When the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened, every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's name. So in other words... Then there's no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought no matter what happened, he'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's the fool of the century, you see. I mean, he is kind of dumb. <laughs> the dolly move bod? Absolutely, it was used to move that body. But, do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? Is that all that matters to you about the case? Well, no, there's a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. They probably figured it. we couldn't find the bodies. We couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes down to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? The other thing that bothers me is, why'd they bother killing two people? What? Because all the rule says is if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. But killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get found out. I see. Hold on. Perhaps. I see. So that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Huh? What's with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. Now he's going to go actually do some proper investigating, right? He really does, young daddy, 100%. Although now he might be changing his mind a little bit. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? <laughs> Let's talk to Sakura. Hmm. And he does give some thanks for helping him figure out some of the bigger things that are going on. He does. Even though he's always still smug about it, Zakobo, he does give thanks when it's due sometimes. There are many aspects to this incident this time. Too many, to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then... Would you like my help? I'd always like your help, Sakura. Yeah, let's look back on things. Mm. This morning, only four of us met up at the dining hall. Hina, Kyoko, you and myself. 
We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Hmm. It was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. Hmm. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the third floor, then quickly came and got you and me. According to Celeste, she was attacked by a suspicious individual and lay unconscious for about an hour. In other words, she was attacked an hour before we found her, meaning just after 7 o'clock. Hmm. Based on the picture Celeste took, we discovered her attacker was dressed in a strange costume. It was Robo-Justice. It also became clear that this Robo-Justice had dragged Hifumi away. Huh. After meeting up with Toko and Byakuya, we began searching for the costumed assailant. We found an injured Hifumi in the library on the second floor. We took him down to the nurse's office on the first floor, then resumed our search. But not long after leaving the nurse's office... What's wrong? I saw a shadow, something move around at the top of the stairs. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, is that Mass... Mass Arrest? Mace Arrest? Welcome to the stream. I might be butchering your name. Yeah. Now, the tricky thing is, will I actually get to use all those clues this stream? <laughs> we are on limited time, but if I can actually use them while I just learn them right now, that'll be good. Although this game does a pretty good job of letting you look back at, like, notes and stuff, which is nice. And how are you doing, dude? Thanks for dropping in. You've been playing Rift Breaker recently? What's Rift Breaker? Or the Rift Breaker? Is that a class in um, Risk of Rain or something? Or what's that other game you play a lot, Monkey? Uh, it's like a third-person shooter. Been out for like almost 10 years. I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, she saw a shadow. Based on Celeste's claims, we went back up to the second floor where we split up and began searching. Then, right after that, mm. Celeste screamed. This time, she hadn't apparently seen the suspect on the third floor. Hearing her screams, we quickly made our way to the third floor. Oh, it's a factory building game. That's not what I was thinking at all. When you say Rift Breaker, it sounds like a class and like a shooter or a MOBA or something like that. <laughs> I would not think like a sim building kind of game. Is that uh, Factorio? No, that's like a factory building game. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down the hallway and disappeared. Mm. And then... Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... Um... I'm trying to think of the name... It was like a launch title on the PS4, but it was like a free-to-play game, and it's still going strong after all this time. I can't think of the name to save myself. It's, um, yeah, free-to-play. I don't know how bad they are with microtransactions. I did play it when it first came out on PS4, just briefly. Hifumi, he's in the nurse's office. This is bad. Come on, we have to go back. I remember you doing a lot of grinding for some weapons or something in that game, Monkey. I think it was you. At that point, we decided to split up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office. Meanwhile, you, Byakuya, and Toko pursued the suspect on the third floor. And when we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi's corpse, which is also when we heard the body discovery announcement play. I left Celeste and Hina alone and headed back to the third floor to tell the others what had happened. However... But at that same time, we discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. Which means Hifumi and Taka's bodies were discovered right around the same time. Because I remember hearing the body discovery announcement play right after finding Taka. Wait a second. I mean, I don't know how they do this body discovery thing exactly, how they know it's somebody actually dead, but if they found it around the same time as us, 
I don't think the body discovery notification was for our body because Hifumi wasn't actually dead, right? He uh, talked to us a little bit later when we came back, but he didn't last very long. He just lasted long enough to say that one thing. And Wazaka, an interesting spot to pop up in. <laughs> yeah, we were just checking out all of the uh, crazy um, clues that we have right now. And Michael, the game you're thinking of is Blacklight Retribution? No, that's not it. I think it's like a one word game. Not that one though, not that one. I don't think I've even heard of that one. It's gonna drive me crazy, <laughs> I'll figure it out. And the Rift Breaker game is where you try to save humanity by setting up a big portal on the planet. And you built the base of it, but a bunch of other things in order to get it operating. And one requirement is a little difficult, 10,000 power per second. And you're at 1,000. Hey, you're making progress, though. He's got a thick head, right? Oh, you never owned it. Well, I mean, it's on everything now, I think. But I think originally it was only on PS4. Um, maybe it was PC at the same time. Not Borderlands. No, this is in 2013 when the PS4 launched. I think that's when the game first came out. It might have been on PC earlier, actually. Now that I think about it. See, then you, me, and Byakuya all headed back to the nurse's office, leaving behind Toko, who had fainted. But as soon as we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who just arrived to tell us something very unusual. Ifumi's body disappeared. We hurried back to the nurse's office to discover that his corpse was in fact gone. Hmm. Then we remembered we had abandoned the unconscious Toko and rushed back to the equipment room. This can't be happening. Are we hallucinating all this or something? This time, Taka's body had disappeared. So from there, we began our search for both of the missing bodies. And after some time, Celeste told us she'd found the bodies and we all headed to the repository. Warframe, that's it. That's what I'm thinking of, Warframe, yeah. I don't know if it came out in 2013, but it was definitely at the launch of the PS3 or PS4. It was one of those first downloadable games you can get. Um, Cause I know I didn't buy it, but I did try it out. Uh, I, I had gotten Killzone 2, Assassin's Creed 4, and I thought I got a third game. I can't think of what other launch game I got right off the top of my head. And there we rediscovered the two bodies that had apparently vanished. Okay, so you were playing Warframe though at some point, right, Monkey? I wasn't going crazy. <laughs> I think you played a lot of that. And that brings us up to now. However, looking back, things have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine anytime. That's really handy. <laughs> Hey, um, Makato, I've been thinking about something. It's about the repository. Huh? What is it? Hmm. After Hifumi and Taka's bodies disappeared, we split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Sakura stuck together. But... And we came right to the repository to, you know, look around. But when we got there, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. I tried to get in there too, and it was locked. It was locked. Mm. And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us there. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? <laughs> I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> but it's not typically the kind of game I stream. I wonder the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began, and now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. I mean, honestly, Monkey, that'd be like the, uh, let's do a redeem a game kind of thing, and we do like five or six streams of it sort of thing. That'd be probably most likely. Okay. Oh, wasn't this thing full of hammers before? And now there's like, looks like three or four of them are missing? Four of them, actually. Which makes sense because there was like four labeled hammers, right? Somebody did some arts and crafts on these guys. There are hammers of all different sizes hanging on the wall, although some are more like mallets. Mallets. 
Could the justice hammers have been designed using these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here obviously seen a lot of use. They're all covered in debris and chalky stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Spotless hammer has been added to the truth bullet. Why would it be spotless? My guess is maybe they started to try like paint it and stuff and decided against it. So they cleaned it and put it back to remove the evidence. Boo, they did not use one of the mini hammer. That would have been cute. Try to kill somebody with the, the tiniest hammer possible. Here we looked at the dolly. We looked at all that. I think we looked at everything here. Oh wait, though the door that Hina said was locked before. There's definitely a lock on the door. That's right, we're on the inside of this room. But it can only be locked from the ins from inside the repository. I don't see any way to lock it from the art room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside of the repository, which makes me wonder. Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. Oh, we already heard all that. Okay, there's the tr I, th I thought it was repeating itself. Basically, we know whoever hid the bodies came in here and locked the door behind them. So they were in here while the door was locked. Oh, that's true, Michael. That could be the murder weapon. I mean, we found so many other hammers, though. I don't know if they would put another one there. Hmm, there's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First, the nurse's office where Hifumi was found, then the equipment room where Taka was found. Okay, so we got two places to check out. Equipment room, nurse's office. So let's go to the nurse's office first. And they were in here? That is so creepy. Just on the other side of the door. I know, the whole time we had them trapped in there. But we didn't hang around, so they were able to escape. Okay, so this is not the first floor. Is this the third floor? Shan, what's up, Shan? How you doing, buddy? Let's um go down this way. What's what's the equipment room? I forget where that is. Is that on the third floor? Okay, library is right here. We want the nurse's office though. First floor. There we go. That um, map is so handy. I really like it. Can you drop a bomb? Bam! You can absolutely drop a bomb, monkey. <laughs> oh, I wonder if anything was thrown away. We tried looking at this trash can before, and they were just saying, like, Ah, oh, there's nothing special about this trash can. It makes me think there's going to be something special later. Like maybe now. It's just a normal trash can. Huh, wait. There's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's a glasses cleaning cloth. Oh my goodness. Hit the right button here. Make sure they get past all the loading screens and advertisements and all that. <laughs> Take a quick swig of water while we wait. Ads are probably done by about now. Planet Platinum, welcome Raiders to John Cadia. How are you all doing? Holy cow, chaining expert. How is it going? Thank you so much for that sub, dude. I appreciate that. Let's swap back over here. Chaining expert subscribed for three months. Let me drop some tokens in there for you guys. That was really cool of you, Chaining Expert. Thank you very much. And Platinum, how in the heck was your stream? What were you playing? Let me uh, drop some tokens in the chat. Thank you again so much for that. Oh, and Platinum, thank you for the cheers, dude. I appreciate that. So what were you streaming? What were you playing? And how did you like it? There we go. You were working on some Minecraft. What were you doing in Minecraft? Um, Nate, who is... Uh, Frequent viewer of our stream is huge into Minecraft. He also streams it, but 
He does like some role playing things and a lot of really cool group stuff. What were you working on in Minecraft? Any like particular kind of game or just kind of building something creatively or what were you working on? And let's see, are you okay with the Kobe ability spoiler? Um, you see it's really early in the game. Wait, which game is that from, Monkey? I'm not sure. Let's see here. And Platinum, it was pretty chill, and you were playing Hide and Seek. Oh, that's so cool, man. There's so many games you can play in Minecraft. People have modded it to hell and back. It's kind of whatever you want it to be, right? I'm sure there's like a Minecraft version for pretty much any play type, honestly, which is awesome. That's so cool. Thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate that. And of course, for the cheers and the sub chaining expert. That was very cool of you. We are currently playing some nothing. There's nothing on the screen. There it is. <laughs> oh, for the new Kirby game. Well, I honestly don't mind too much, Monkey, but some other folks in the stream might not have played it, so I probably wouldn't spoil anything on purpose um, that want to play it, of course. Um, yeah, so we are playing uh, Danganronpa, the first one right now. And uh, in this game, we're essentially trying to solve murders. We're all trapped in this house, and the only way we get set free is we can kill somebody and not get caught. So of course everybody wants to work together and not murder anybody, but eventually some people get motivated, they crack, and they kill somebody. We have two dead bodies this chapter, so we're currently trying to find out who might have done it. So we just found something in the trash which has some blood on it. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Forsaken Kraken. How has it been half a year already, Kraken? How are you doing, buddy? Let me give you all some tokens. Thank you so much for the sub. Half a year. The time flies, my friend. The time flies. Were you streaming um, earlier today, too? I thought I saw you either earlier today or yesterday. But how are you doing, dude? What is new? What have you been up to? I feel like I'm losing my voice here. Playing these games does a number on your voice. Because I'm doing voices the whole time. Whether it's a deep voice light voice <clears throat> it just wrecks my throat oh platinum thank you for those cheers hmm that's what kirby always does right monkey he always eats something and kind of becomes it or gets its ability kind of thing oh no you haven't been feeling well so you haven't been streaming that's a bummer dude what, what have you got hopefully you don't have the, the rona but uh either way it just sucks feeling bad i'm so sorry to hear that have you had it long? Are you on the mend? Or are you just coming down with it? And you don't want to do anything stream-wise if you can't give it your all. Totally understand. Totally understand. Yeah, if you're feeling sick, if you're not happy, you can't be happy for everybody else. It'd just be faking it and they could tell. So you definitely don't want to do that. He's got that stupid head disease. <laughs> no! I have that. Um... Just a stomach bug. Hopefully it's quick. I mean, usually when I get some kind of stomach thing, it's usually gone in like a day or two. So hopefully you haven't had it too long. Hopefully you get rid of that soon. But dude, thank you so much for the sub. Six months. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Okay. Back to the case at hand. We found a bloody handkerchief. It's too small to be a handkerchief. It's just a glasses cleaning cloth. Speaking of glasses cleaning, we saw the glasses on the victim were spotless. This must be what it was. And it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Ugh, but it's also covered in blood. By the way, their blood is oh. hot pink, if you hadn't noticed. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth? And it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe up some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> Kirby's got a gun? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I've heard the new Kirby game is fantastic. I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah, me either, but I think it might be important. Holy crap! Forsaken Kraken, stop it. What are you doing, dude? Bam and bam. 100 biddies. It seems like to me like these things are kind of like delayed coming out. I hear the noise, but it takes them a while to appear. Dude, thank you so much for the cheers, dude. That's awesome. And Alex, you had a horrible cough not long ago, but now you're much better, though. That's good to hear, Alex. It's At this point, if I ever get sick with anything, I'm just going to assume it's corona. Because I've been, you know, avoiding it for so long. I've been fine. Haven't gotten it yet. So it just seems like it's a matter of time. Especially as everybody's, like, laxing mask mandates and all that. It just seems like everyone's going to get it eventually. 
And Monkey, here's a question. What if you killed everybody before any bodies were found? Technically, you killed and didn't get caught. I think, Monkey, there's a restriction. I think you're only allowed to kill two people. And you can't kill any more. If you kill any more, I think you're probably killed yourself. But yeah, you're only allowed to kill two people per round or day or something like that. Yeah, they thought about that. <laughs> All right, we got another truth bullet, which truth bullets are essentially, uh, what do you call them? Like um, clues to use in the trial, which we're going to do next. Okay, we should probably check this mallet again. And same, you haven't gotten it yet either. You feel like, I know, right? Uh, there was one time my wife got sick, but she, it was more like, like, light cold symptoms and it lasted like 24 hours and then I got it and mine lasted 24 hours but when she was sick she also did a COVID test came out negative so I think we actually just got a cold this is like late last year and forsaken when you had corona you had zero taste and smell yeah I never experienced that either and you could put a bottle of peppermint essential oils right in your nostril and couldn't smell it even a little bit that's so intense and some people forsaken like after they've had it their sense of taste and smell doesn't come back. Like it might come back partially, but they never get back to 100%. And it's been like months and months. That scares me. Like if I permanently lost my ability to like smell and taste stuff, I'd be so bummed. I live for food. <laughs> Food's amazing. Okay, so this is the hammer used to kill Hifumi. Someone moved the body, but left the weapon behind. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Celeste. And you haven't gotten a positive test ever, but you might have had COVID already, but you just got it off easy. That makes sense. That makes sense. I think a lot of us have actually had it before. We just didn't even know it. And chaining expert. Uh, you never felt that? When you had COVID, you were just dizzy and weak for two days. That's what's a bummer is the symptoms are like all over the place. So it's really hard to tell if you think you really have it besides the test. And then, of course, even those sometimes don't tell the whole story. They might be positive when you're negative or vice versa. Uh, what are you investigating, Celeste? Mm -hmm. I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved Hifumi's body. Let's see. How Hifumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Hmm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, although... Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move Hifumi's body in that short amount of time. Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in only a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Sakura could probably do it. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Ooh, what are you going to do after that bag of popcorn, monkey? I wish I had some popcorn. Let's see. And uh, you were worried about that too for a second, but it came back in a few days. That's good. And here in Tennessee, there's really no mask mandate anymore, and that's been lifted a long time ago. Same where I'm at in California. Some places in California still have mask mandates, but it just depends on where you're at. In the area I'm in, we are, I forget what they call their ranking, but we're green, like low spread, so there's not very many cases where I'm at currently. And uh, do you find charm in how redundant people are in this game for a second, or does it annoy you? It's a mixed bag for a lot of people. You know... Oftentimes, it just seems like an anime cliche sometimes, you know, or even like an adventure game cliche. But with my memory and how dense I can be at times, I find it probably more helpful than anything. When they start repeating things, sometimes I'm like, I know that. Other times I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I almost forgot. So it can be helpful. It's kind of a double-edged sword. It's sometimes a little annoying. Sometimes it repetition makes it sink in. And Texas lifted the mask mandate while we were still in the height of the quarantine. Yeah, I heard. It. And Florida, too. Florida did the same thing. Oh, that's wild. And mutual assured destruction. Set off a nuke in the building. <laughs> Wait, is that a question or a statement, Monkey? Sounds like a statement. 
And Alex, in your town, technically, you have the mask date mandate on, but literally nobody does that and nobody checks as of now. Yeah, I feel like if they turned on mask mandates again, people wouldn't follow it nearly as much as they did in the beginning. I don't think it would happen. All right. Oh, let's uh, check the refrigerator. I don't expect anything, but why not? A refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packets in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. It doesn't help me, though. I'm not a vampire. Oh, that's not a truth bullet. That would have been interesting. What if people were using the fake blood to do something, you know? That would have been interesting. Is the host immortal? No, I'm very much mortal. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah, the executions are so brutal. They're all unique, kind of tailored to whoever the killer is. Yeah, we can check the men's room. We can't check the women's room. And Texas is a lawless land, which would be good for some things, but a daisy like this should not be looked at lightly. Yeah, it's it's one of those times where it's like, maybe we don't need this much freedom. <laughs> you know? Maybe there would be good to have some more rules in place. Who's the other host? You mean the host of the game? The bear character? Oh, wait. You know, they gave us two locations to look at. I don't need to come here. It was the nurse's office and the... Equipment room? Is that what they called it? I forget what the equipment room was. I think that might have been... Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Not that. Look at the map. Does this tell me the room? It does. Yeah, so we're looking for the equipment room. Which one is that? Not on this floor. There's archive, library... Classroom, physics lab. Okay, so it's behind the physics lab. Unfortunately, I cannot teleport there. Okay, so that's all the way on the third floor. Let's see. Oh, that's not the right way. This way. Here we go. Yeah, I almost imagine that the host is a robot or something programmed to do all this. I don't imagine that it's like a a real creature that we're interacting with, you know? At least that's what everybody kind of said in the beginning of the game. They were saying it's like a some kind of android. Yeah, I, I think we were supposed to go to the equipment room. Which is on the other side of this floor. Yeah, I think it's right at the end of this hallway. I love how fast you can move around. It's helpful. I guess we can check to see if there's anything sketchy in here. Although I doubt it. This must be used for physics experiments and stuff. It's not really related to the case, though. Yeah, I think we looked at all that stuff. So this is where we found the other body. Yeah, there's the blood stain, and you can see the wheel marks right there. So that's going to be a truth bullet. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of the blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. Yep, I think so. I think so. And if a game gets too long for streams, like you said, John, you'd recommend you keep playing it in your free time. Wraps up so weird, but so nice. Yeah, actually what we're going to do, Forsaken, is because this is going beyond the limit of the games I usually play, I'm actually going to leave it up to you guys, which will do a vote very soon. But I'm going to do a little stream vote, and you guys will get to vote whether we should complete it. So it's kind of like, not just on me, but also just on the community. If everyone's really enjoying the game and want to see it all the way to completion, you guys can choose that. Otherwise, if... We've been, you know, playing a game for six streams or so, and we found, like, okay, we kind of get the idea. We don't need any more. Then we can vote to move on to something new. <laughs> this is getting kind of sloppy. <laughs> but even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hifumi? 
Ifumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get uh, it up to the third floor. There's still a total mystery. Yeah, there's no elevator, right? There's just stairs, as far as I know. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I do like these kind of games. Now, if I have a um, crit critique, I guess, is these games are hard to stream. I, I enjoy the stories and everything and making the choices and seeing what happens, but because I have to read everything, it gets kind of exhausting to stream because I'm it's slower because I'm reading things out loud versus just reading in my head and just flying through it. And then I'm also talking with you guys, so it's like my voice is going non-stop for the entire three to four hour stream. <laughs> but they're also really cool experiences. <laughs> okay, and it's the tarp. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before and just recently too. There's tarps in the room with the bodies right now. I think Taka's body was wrapped in a tarp. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. That's right, she was knocked out. <laughs> There's the other mallet. Justice Hammer 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. Okay, no truth bullet there. I think that was it. Okay, so there's got to be more than those two rooms they wanted me to check out to get more truth um, things. Let's see if we can check our... Where do they usually put that? It's not on the list of truth bullets. I thought there was somewhere that it told you, like, generally what you're supposed to be doing, but maybe not. It's under transcript? Is that like everybody's speech? Oh yeah, that's we'd have way too much to review there. I guess we'll just keep exploring. I'm not sure what other room they want me to check out. Oh, they make them excla exclamation marks. That's super healthy. Healthy? Healthy? Helpful, young daddy. Thank you. Oh, maybe I'm done. So, this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? <laughs> I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. We saw that too. This is the note that Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? <laughs> you remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. It gives you just enough to go and make some more progress, but it doesn't give you the full story. And Forsaken, you understand that to your core. But like you said, playing this game off stream in your free time would be something you recommend, and it's a great game. I think it's going to get voted, so I don't think we're going to have that problem. But yeah, this would definitely be one I would at least wrap up just to see what happens. Okay, so he said to go to Hero's Room, but what's waiting for me there? Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about this game, for being like kind of a, an adventure game, essentially is it really does guide you to the important places. You don't waste a whole lot of time just moving from place to place to place to place, looking for anything to move the story forward. That happened to me a lot when I played Ace Attorney, and it drove me mad. So to request a game Forsaken, it's currently 4,000 tokens. It takes a while to get there, but we've had many, many game requests, so it's absolutely possible. <laughs> Um, let's see. So I want to go to his room, which is over here, right? Let, let me fast travel here. I want to let me fast travel here. I'll take it. So we're going to Hero. Which I think is this one, right? Yashihiro, yeah. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Byakuya did say to go look. It might not be a great idea, 
but I'm gonna take the plunge. You should take somebody with you. You need another witness. I know you're so close, Alex. Now, we also have another one pending, Alex. Um, uh, Hasifa already requested uh, his next game, so get in line, essentially. <laughs> Oh, it goes quick though, for a second. It goes quick, especially if you are subscribed to the channel and you just hang out every stream. It goes really fast. This is Hero's Room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Do you have any idea of what kind of game you might recommend uh, for a second? Where'd he even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up, which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Let's check these boxes first. These look kind of uh, shady. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something and blueprints for the robot. Yeah, that's looking very guilty. Although it is it's also very shady that Yakuya just told us to come here and look, you know? <laughs> Asifa, what's in the box? Where's Christian? He would love to ask that. So it looks it looks shady, but it also looks shady on um, Byakuya because he's telling us to come look at this, right? Oh, Alex, um, Hasifa requested I want to destroy the name, but like I think it's Seven Days a Stranger or something like that. It's the sequel to that Five Nights a Stranger. Seven Seven Days something else. It has Seven Days in the title, but it's a Seven Days a Skeptic. Thank you, Hasifa. Yeah, it's another uh, point and click adventure game from that guy Yahtzee Kroshaw that does those really funny reviews on YouTube. They're really fast, the way he, he speaks. And um, yeah, I really like the first one. So I'm excited to see what more of those games are like. Okay, and it's blueprints for something. And something's made out of, looks like cardboard and plastic and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints, something about them bothers me. Ah, I think I know what that is. The handwriting on those is not as nice as the handwriting on the note that he gave us, right? But I don't know. Was the hand? I, I, he did say the handwriting was his. So yeah, it doesn't match up. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what was supposed to have bothered him. The handwriting doesn't line up. Check his bed. It's a normal bed, pretty much like the one in my room. Hmm. I don't see anything else in the room, really. Let's see, this is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Yeah, that's that's pretty normal. Oh, can we go in the bathroom? I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty gun grungy though. How does a bathroom even get this dirty? <laughs> dirty hippie. Let's see. And how do we know it was named Robo Justice before we saw the blueprints? A uh, young daddy. It was um, Hif Hifumi, because Hifumi knows all about that character. I think he named it right away. Now there's not much else to check in here. I think we're done. Hey, there you go, Forsaken. <laughs> we have had a number of sequels requested. Not a bad idea. You know, um, Phantasma, I don't know if you're still there, Phantasma. She requested... What was that first game that she requested? Is that uh, first... Um, Dishonored. Dishonored. And I thought she was going to request Dishonored 2, but she ended up pivoting and then requested Star Wars, and that was really fun, too. Oh, Makoto, big news, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news. Just a second. Robo Justice showed up too. Wait, I thought we were just looking at the costume. Hold on. Robo Justice. Hmm. It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. To think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. So without spoiling it, Alex, what are the, um, maybe I can give me like what type of games they are, you know, like a little hint. Oh, they're over there. Kyoko and I mean... 
Phew, man, I've had the worst day. Hero? <laughs> That's weird. Let's talk to Kyoko first. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool locker room. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared and all of a sudden, without a trace? Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. Okay, now we've heard about like somebody working with uh, Monokuma on this, an inside job. She's looking like the most likely, right? Yeah, it looks pretty open and shut, I think. Ooh, how good are you at hardcore multitasking? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> As you could tell from chatting and trying to stream at the same time. And Michael, if you had enough tokens, you'd request God of War, unless you played that one already. Do you mean the 2018? Is that when it came out, the 2018 version of God of War? I did stream it, um, but I haven't played it in a very long time. And honestly, the stream almost doesn't exist because it was one of the first games I streamed. Hardly anybody was watching me. And it would be great to share it with all of you guys again. And I also want to replay it before the new one comes out. So that would not be a bad idea at all. And I could even do the PC version. So like, you know, all the bells and whistles turned on, smooth frame rates, all that. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap things up in the next 10 or 15 minutes for a second. I gotta wrap up pretty soon. Yeah, that game was so good, Michael. I really liked it. All right, so she's trying to dodge the question. Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she says that, but does she have an I any idea? Oh, Elden Ring Randomizer? Do they have that on Steam? That would be awesome. Uh, does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Yeah, she's totally just trying to deflect. Uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep. I don't even know that happened. Then I woke up, and I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... Won't you let me out of here? I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? <laughs> <laughs> you might beat me, Forsaken. <laughs> and you could also request, actually, the new version of Stanley Parable. I saw that on the Steam Coming Soon. I put that on my wish list. But maybe not, because uh, you might eventually try it out anyways. You never know. You never know. That was a great April Fool stream. I really like that one. Yes, I think it just came out for a second, like, or it's coming out very, very soon. Um, why would you make something that you can't get, uh, can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong. I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. It would seem there's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Oh, it's coming out today. Oh, that's fantastic. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Phew. Free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then... More to the point. Nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, uh, hold on a sec. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking that maybe somebody actually set him up. You know, made the costume perfectly to fit him, put him in there, and then uh, locked him up. So he just looks very guilty. Yeah, I think the investigation is going to be done pretty soon here, young daddy. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Oh, when did, when did she see that? Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made the costume. <laughs> That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone That's terrible. was Hero. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> <sighs> 
Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. He can't. He's not allowed to. Tie me up. Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little bit far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um... attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about because he was locked up here the whole time. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. That must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costumed attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, look. <laughs> See how loose it is? Yeah, that doesn't look like it's going to fit at all. I mean, come on. What do they say? If the glove fits, you must acquit. <laughs> Yeah, and the fact that Hero can barely fit in it, that's kind of weird too. Or that it fits perfectly. That makes me think someone very skilled at crafting stuff made it specifically for Hero. And when you think about it, if he was able to pay one million for a crystal ball, he might actually be decently rich. That's very true, Zakoba. I didn't think about that. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. <laughs> yeah, dumb people can have good jobs sometimes. Case in point. Have a great job. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. Meaning you couldn't even lean down to pick somebody up, right? So like, if you're actually in that costume, you probably couldn't do very much. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, hey, um... welcome back, Forsaken. Fire away. No, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. Mm -hmm. You are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then, there's another costume. There must have been one that looks the same, but fits them. Honestly. Didn't we say we found a costume in his room? Like, kind of, like, taken apart, it looked like? Or at least all the pieces to build the costume. I don't know if the full costume was actually there. Ooh, and out of everyone, even if they died, who was your favorite character in this game? Huh. I mean... The one I have the most sympathy for is definitely Chihiro. Chihiro's was so tragic because he didn't do anything to deserve that. You know, he was totally innocent, unlike... Pretty much everybody else, most everybody else has died at some point. They were doing something shady or involved with something, it seems like. So, I don't know. I felt like Chihiro was definitely, like, one of the best. I've also really liked, um, and it's mostly just because she's been so helpful and so smart throughout this whole thing. But, um, what's her name? I'm drawing a blank here. Um... Sa uh, not, not Sakura. I like Sa Sakura a lot, though, too. She seems pretty on point and always helpful. Kyoko. That's it, Kyoko. Kyoko and Sakura have probably been my other two favorites. And Hiro is almost a damn foot taller than Makoto. Bi Byakuya is a lot closer to Hiro's height. So it might have been a better test. I know, right, Zakobo? We can actually look at their stats and see who would be the best fit. How about you, Forsaken? Who's your favorite character in this game? Regardless of if they die or not. What the heck? Uh, evidence? Huh. You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Which is how we know it was him. What? what, what? 
I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? And yours has been Hero? He's like your comic relief. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about Hero is, like, he's been really boring to try to get to know. I feel like every time you try to have a conversation with him, he just starts going off on something so boring it just skips all the text and fast forwards to the, <laughs> the end, I guess. But he has been pretty dang funny. Okay, we have to actually talk to him specifically what as well. Heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then... You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Fuhifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% right. Which means Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Hey, Snow. Good day. How are you doing, Snow? And, uh, let's see. And Alex, uh, you just recognize uh, uh, Hina is the voice from Morgana from Persona 5? Oh, that's funny. Random factoid. I love that. But you don't know if you're right? Eh, you might be. You might be. And you do learn to get a bit more about him as a purser by the end of his FTE, so you would recommend getting further? Okay, good. It seems like every time I've tried to talk to him, he just kind of goes, let me tell you about some weird spiritual, spiritual thing that makes no sense, and then it just fast forwards and we're done. It's like, well, I learned nothing about you. And if Monokuma counts, it's him. Uh, you get that he's an insane killer bear, but his bubbly voice gets me. He's kind of endearing. I get that. I get that. And Snow, you just woke up not too long ago. Thought you'd hop over and see where the story was. Oh, it's great to see you. We are, I think, nearing the trial in Chapter 3. Um, two people are dead, and now we're all accusing Hero, although I don't really think he did it. I think he's been set up. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so then... Ah, I know. That note. Uh, note? Um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out. So don't tell anyone else for now. Meet me at the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So... I mean, that makes more sense to me, honestly. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? Really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote that all to trick me. Ugh. Even if it's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Ugh. Well, after being trapped here for so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check it, right? Yeah. Ugh. They preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Ugh. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean! Well, you should buy it. Just a second! Okay then, show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. No way! Uh, looks like I lost it. Uh. Yeah, sure. Please. You gotta believe me. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want to believe us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? It's like, I need to prove it? You can't just take my word? <laughs> <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the trial begins. Why do you keep uh, need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hero. Uh, no, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. 
He must be totally broke, that's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't bound and gagged you. Hmm. If you have the time to yell and carry on, you have the time to search your evidence, right? What? what? Uh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. Feet don't fail me now. Ah, oh, they let him go. He ran away. I love when that happens, Alex. Or even if I just recognize an actor, you know? Sometimes you're like, ah, oh, he kind of looks like so-and-so. And then boom, you look up IMDb and you're correct. I guess I better get back to guard duty. I was going to ask Toko for... Excuse me, Yon. Uh, Genocide Jack to switch with me. Shouldn't they be saying Genocide Jill? Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we have a catastrophe on our hands. And Byakuya is a pretty cool character. Uh, he's really rude and doesn't care about people, but he keeps his eyes on the end goal. Yet yeah, for him, it's totally a game, which you gotta respect the game, right? Well, bye. One by one, everybody peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Hey, I'll help you if you tell me what kind of shenanigans you've been up to. How about that? Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway. I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Yeah, I do mind, because you're not helping me. Why should we help you? Come on, help me help you. Yeah, yeah, I remember that ultimate affluent progeny or something like that. Yeah, he was like, basically, he comes from money and power, right? And his talent was air. That's not too far off, I don't think. Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now, then, shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl of the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Unless somebody doctors the body. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins anyway. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository? Then I guess we should head that way for now. Okay, I might be able to teleport there. Repository. His net worth is like four billion? Oh my gosh. Speaking of billions of dollars, what do you guys all think of um, Elon Musk buying Twitter? <laughs> That's pretty wild, huh? Repository. Is that the third floor? Here it is. Yeah, that's the closest teleport point. <laughs> I mean, the corpse can kind of lie as a Kobo, because, like, what if I killed somebody and I put a bunch of, like, scissors through them to make it look like Genocide Jill killed the person? But I did. You know, I'm just making it look like something else. I'm making the corpse lie. And you think he's got a lot of money to fall back on, but at the end of the day, it seems like it's a meme taken too far. <laughs> at the very least, I, he doesn't need the money, so that's good. Time is running out. I have to hurry to the repository. Isn't the repository, like, right behind this door? Or am I looking at something else? Oh, whoops. No, I went down here. I'm going to the equipment room. My bad. The repositories behind the art room. That's right. Whoops. And a strange factoid you saw. Uh, it said that Karaka once said that Byakuya is very fit and surprisingly strong despite his frame. Got to be perfect in all aspects. <laughs> yep. Yep. And Karaka is the creator. Has he uh, worked on all these games? And Snow, all you can think of is the idea of pulling a tumbler on him and make him lose a bunch of money. <laughs> that could absolutely happen. But, I don't know. It seems like there's like some good ideas behind him purchasing that and some other ones not behind him. Hey, Jada, you're not okay? It's a theme, Jada. 
I'm so sorry to hear that, Jada. What's going on? What's wrong? Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid. And Poro! Yep, he's super dead. He's super dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. And Alex, so what happens on trials in this game? What are they for? You missed a bunch of streams. So, similar to like the trials in Ace Attorney, but the mechanics are a bit different. They're a lot more active. You have to kind of react at certain times. You know, it's a bit more action packed than the trials in Ace Attorney, where really you just have to present inventory items. In this game, you're there's a bunch of different phases and they all play a little bit differently. <laughs> oh, have a good one, Porto. Thanks for dropping in saying hi. So Jada, what, when you were at camp, you hurt your leg with a tree branch and it was a big scratch. Oh no, that sucks, Jada. Do you have to uh, go to the emergency room or anything, get any stitches? That sucks. Oh, hopefully we'll see you soon. And the main difference is that you get to know the characters as they die or become killers. Oh, that makes sense. You can imagine Byakuya suplexing Mondo 100%. Okay, so the Monokuma file was right. Uh, they were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was uh, she was actually made me feel a little bit more comfortable. So do I have to check it again, or do I just have to talk with her? I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Whew. You are so oblivious to the people around you. Do you dislike other people that much? I don't dislike people, but I'm also uh, oblivious to a lot of stuff. No, that's not it. Anyway, you said he had a watch. So then. Take a look. It's broken. Can you see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen just past six o'clock. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six. That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Hey you, how long are you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced as he uh, stared uh, pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all little boys and girls. In other words, Let's see. Oh, you got a bandage on it? And it was a, a game at camp. What game were you playing when that happened, Jada? And how did Makoto miss this? <laughs> how did the serial killer miss us? <laughs> They're more oblivious than we are, young daddy. And Forsaken, that reminds you of the one time you were climbing a chain link fence when you were young and fell, uh, but not before your calf cut one of the sharp points. Oh, that must have been terrible. Oh, that might have required stitches. And probably a tetanus shot, you know? Rusted metal out there. So, if it worked at 10 p.m. last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Meaning, it must have happened at 6 a.m. this morning. Oh, that sucks, Jada. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully, you're healing up good. However, be sure you put lots of uh, like neosporin and stuff on it, of course. That's true. Her expertise is murder, not solving murder. <laughs> so she wouldn't be very good at anything besides, I guess, maybe identifying her other one, her, other, her own murders. And that's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right. There's something white in there. Makoto. You try and pry it out. Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? No, I'm totally equal opportunity. You got this, Kyoko. Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. The ice-cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper. It looks like a paper airplane. Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues on his own. Hey, we got a new one. Yeah, very much, yeah. Although I bet this came out before L.A. Noir. I don't know, L.A. Noir was like 
late 2000s. I'm not sure when the first game in this series came out. Kyoko messing with the poor, naive Makoto. <laughs> Everyone messes with us. Okay, well guys, it is time. We gotta wrap this up, but before we do, I wanna do a quick stream vote to see if you guys would like to continue playing this game on stream. This is normally about where I'd like to stop these games, honestly. like. Usually when I stream a game, I like it to be about five or six streams. Sometimes it goes a little bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter. But um, this game, we're probably nearing the halfway point because I think it's six chapters and we're nearing the end of chapter three. So my guess is it'll probably be at least another five or six after this. So we're going to go ahead and set up a quit vote and you guys can choose if we are going to continue playing after this. So let me set up a new one. Say keep playing... Gun Rampa. And you got about one minute to do it. So I'm setting it up right now. One minute. Start. Okay, so at the very top of your chat window, you should have an option to click a little button and expand the poll. So do that right now and let me know if you want to continue playing this game or if you've seen enough, you want to quit. For these fun story based games, it's definitely hard to quit in the middle. <laughs> Oh, Jada, I, I'll be wrapping up soon, so I might miss you. And Kyoko probably knows who killed who the moment the murder happens. Just kind of lets people flail about. It definitely seems that way, doesn't it, Forsaken? I really feel like uh, Kyoko, and to a point, uh, Byakuya, are way ahead of the game. They kind of just like, let us do our thing. And uh, they, they're they almost like testing us, you know? Like, let's see if he can actually figure these murders out. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll give him, like, breadcrumbs to find the right path. Yeah, chain link fences and big tree branches. Be more careful. There was one time my brother, he was barefoot, and he jumped from our patio to, like, a tree stump. But the tree stump that, that had been cut recently had, like, a real sharp chunk of wood coming up the top. He jumped right on there. He needed a ton of stitches. It was no fun. All right, checking it out now. Eight votes. <laughs> it is unanimous. All right, we are going to play this game to completion. So thank you guys so much for joining. Before I forget, let me go ahead and I'll let... Um, is Sheely here? I haven't seen Sheely jump in chat right now. Sheely will be very excited about that. This was actually Sheely's request. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and save this real quick. I always press start to save it. I always forget it's under X. You know, I don't think I've saved it once this entire stream. That's terrible. Okay, let's do it right here. There we go. Okay, we should be good. And you should say, though, you are a good portion through the game. Still a lot to get through. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Like, honestly, if it was just me, Zakobo, if I ended, like, the sixth stream and we were, like, you know, easily one stream from finishing the game, I wouldn't put it to a vote. I would just finish it. But because we're probably, like, around the halfway point... It's going to be a long game. I want to let you guys choose what you want to see. Alrighty, such a cool game though. Thank you guys all for voting and appreciate you for voting yes because I definitely want to see more of this game as well. And I know I can play it off stream.